Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And Darcy's here. I'm here. Oh my god! Back after quite a while, actually. Yeah. So we're away at PRGE. Um, let us know if there's any weird audio issues today. Um, oh, Darcy's Darcy's stripping. This you is new. Need, you don't we don't need, to need see that. We don't need the the viewers that bad, Darcy. It's okay. <laughs> oh, oh my <gasps> goodness. <laughs> um, we, we, that's what we have the cats here for. <laughs> the cats are the entertainment. Mm -hmm. We're, we're, put it on, put it on. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, today we're going to be playing some Atari 8 bit games on our Atari 800 XL. Yeah, because, uh, what? Suddenly it's OnlyFans, yes. <laughs> oh, I see it goes over there now. Uh, I understand. What does? Oh, there, yeah, yeah, because there's no, there's here. no really any room. There's not a good, and I don't want to block it. So yeah, it's pretty fantastic. And that's time. that's in the webcam. People can people can see it. It's still good. Yeah, um, yeah. I redid the audio a little bit. Rejigged it a bit. Um, so everything is separated out, which made my life a lot easier. So I can do volume for every single thing. Like if I'm playing a video in the browser, like a, a video from YouTube or something. It's a separate volume. Can you do a different volume for you and me on the same microphone? Nope. <laughs> we could do uh, lapel mics, and I can oh. turn you way no. down. Nobody High wants compression that. on the Darcy. Only Thrust Squish. wants that. That's right. <laughs> um, but I do mitigate that a bit, if you notice, that uh, people can't see it out there. The microphone is pointed towards me, because I'm a little quieter Surprise than this. Darcy. Darcy projects. He needs to be on stage, right? It's it's. Pro Projectist. <laughs> it's so projectist. <laughs> um, today we're going to be playing uh, a bunch of games by one person. We're going to be playing actually nine games, but eight, they're in a theme. So, but we'll talk about this in a little bit. He has made these games once and then compiled them and they spit them out for over 200 different systems, different computer systems, different consoles. He just programs it once, he presses a button, blah, 200 systems have this game all of a sudden. Very interesting. Wow. Yeah. Uh, they're all made by uh, Fabrizio Caruso, and we're going to be playing eight of those plus one game that he didn't make on that system, but he's only made one extra Atari 8-bit game that's not on the system, so I was like, well, we might as well play every single game he's ever made, <laughs> which is nine, for the for the eight, Atari 8-bit. He makes games for other systems, too. Um but first, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers gently scrolling beside Darcy. Uh, a cardboard box, Al Nefer, Andre Atari, Armscar Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari 874, Atari H, Beef Supreme, Beer Poke Up, Buffalo Pinball, Chest on the Mile, Charles Wheel, and Chitlala, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Cyrano Reboot, Dianoid, Dan of C, Daryl Knight, 70 Deals, Kilos, Doc Moo Cows, Gamma Dev, Glenn Main, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Jedekai, Johnny WC, Carl G, Croco, 2600, Gewalt for Lambda Express, Learn DTZ, Lord Kraken, Mark Johannes, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Solman, Catal, Miss Command, MFK Smith, Mr. Zorno, Miff, Hester Fix, Neos Media, Nick Spencer, N Nostalgic Hog, R uh, RC70, Goes for Penless VD, uh, Revan Tooley, Rod Caster, Smitty B, Spice, or Spinley, S. Ramirez, Testin Rock, and D Train, Tiki Dang, A. Tifos, Trek M, D, Vexor X, Vintage Game, Memories, X, Ken X. And there's no Darcy on there. Darcy's well, having tried. trouble. Yeah, he's having trouble with his phone. He just got a new phone. Seconds before we st we started streaming, uh, we tested yeah. uh, my. Because my it's standard text. text messages are not showing up. Like when you need to confirm on your phone, they send you a code. Yeah. It's like the code shows up and, it, you know, like. It's too late. It's too late. <laughs> and but I just sent one. He sent me a message and it arrived, like, right away. So it's something to do with, like, I don't know, something else. Oh. Something's not couching. New Twitch stream, who dis? <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, somebody found it. RC70 found the new thing that I put on there. Not couch compliant. Um, I mean, that should be reserved for games. But yeah, I'm going to get to that. Um, uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel because you like it, it's free with Amazon Prime. Uh, just hit subscribe and it's not free without it. Uh, just like S. Ramirez did just before the show. Thank you, S. Ramirez. Woo! And of course, everybody else on this list. And not Darcy. He's trying. He's trying hard to get on well, the list. I don't know what hard, but I tried. Yeah. <laughs> I tried, and then the phone was like, no. And I was like, okay. Denied. <laughs> uh, so I do have a... Oh, I forgot to do it, but I can do it really quick. A Twitch <clears throat> poll. 
And the question is, I don't know if I've asked this question before. Have you ever typed in games from a book slash magazine? And the options are yes. Well, it's not many options, but and no. Yes. Let's start the poll. Boom. Have you ever typed in games from a book or a magazine? Because it's um. Is it relevant to this? Anyway, um, I have. I remember uh, typing in uh, games from a subscription I had for a Commodore 64 magazine called Ahoy. And they initially kind of started with basic programs, and then they moved more and more into machine language programs. Um, oh, I know why this is relevant. <laughs> because I also got books out of the library as well and they were all basic books like you could type in text adventures very simple games but they're all in basic and they were all kind of lowest common denominator because they not only had like c64 in them they had apple and they had atari basic and they had a couple like trs80 and um some other systems as well um but they all had to work over all the different computers right and that's why it's relevant relevant to what we're doing today because we're he has programmed these games so they work on well all on them. all these 200 different systems so you'll notice a pattern when we start playing the games what kinds of games they are and i remember typing them in on for, for the c64 because that what i that's what i had and they had to omit some of the games <laughs> from the c64 pretty much only the c64 because basic on c64 was uh, quite crippled in terms of graphics Oh, okay. because the other the other systems they could draw things on the screen like with graphics um circles lines whatever and c64 basic didn't have that functionality at all the other ones had draw circle this size this radius from here to here and i was like oh Okay, I can't do that one. Okay, back, <laughs> back to the text-based ones. And they're fine. You know, there's some fun text-based games you could do, especially the um, the text adventure stuff. Thank you, Bill Gates. Yeah, Bill Gates programmed um, the Commodore Basic. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no maybe option? Maybe. I can't remember if I type things in from a book. Yeah, we're at that age. Sorry. Uh, Dan said did it, he did it with the TI-99 for a computer. Have you typed in so many you seriously thought about getting one of those optical readers? Uh, I didn't know of that back then. Um, but the frustration came when I was typing in from the Ahoy magazine because they first, uh, for the machine language one, when they started going to machine language, they gave you a basic program to type in to do error checking with the machine language because they would give you like, I think like eight or 16 hex codes and then they would add one more for the error checking. And if it all matched, it would go, okay, good. Next line, next line, next line. And then you would finish the program and it would save it to a binary. And then you could run it. Thrust is having uh, zero luck. Oh. Any... It's a live stream for subscribers. No. Because no. you're typing right now. Um, you can set it to subscribers only. But I don't do that because why? Um, I'm not that popular. <laughs> when we get there you will not be able to type the rest uh, nope Sh should be good throws me out of live after 30 seconds no nope. oh do you but have any he can't see all the stuff you're saying because he's literally not <laughs> he's able kicked to out because uh, he's, he's he he said above he... you know what uh if you have ad blocking try turning that off because maybe they implemented something new where it's like that... you got an ad out you go. Yeah, that happened with um, uh, every once in a while. That happens with like YouTube. <laughs> yeah, and at one point, and at one point, like it happened because it might I be turned off the ads, and then for like several months, I uh, hmm. <laughs> tried <laughs> I just had ads and forgot. <laughs> try try a different browser. Uh, you may not want to do that, but I don't know what to say unless. Oh, it's treat oh, time! Oh my. Goodness. Oh, my God. They it heard is... half a note. Like I hadn't, I couldn't, 
I cats? couldn't have registered yet that the treat time was happening and he was already leaping. Well, have you ever watched videos of cat reaction times? <clears throat> they are like cat versus snake. There's, I saw this one. Let me just start the, uh, the, the uh, bedding. Oh, the, the, and the snakes have no chance? No chance no whatsoever. Chance. Like they show super slow you. motion. No, you won't. And the snake goes like that much and the cat goes pow. pow. <laughs> no chance. I didn't see it. I saw that, but not, not, yeah. It was a long time ago. Uh, okay. The betting is up. Uh, bet on the cats. Um, Sprite has been doing very, very well. Atari's been feeling under the weather, but we've started his asthma regiment again. So he should be a little bit better today because his uh, asthma problems have been subsiding quite a bit. Cat versus zucchini. Yeah, that too. <laughs> it's not the zucchini that makes them jump. It's the unexpected thing that they didn't notice there the before that's of size. That's They're of like, the size, yeah. Oh yeah. my God, what's that? Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, they have amazing reaction times. Could be a, could be a lizard. It, it could be. And like, nobody wants like creepy lizard trying to join your crowd. <laughs> so let's go to the cat cam. Okay, oh my God, everybody's betting on Sprite, but one person's on Atari. So if Atari wins, everything goes to that person. That is the advantage of betting on Atari. Mm -hmm. He's the outlier. He's the long bet. He may do it. He may do it today. 300 on Sprite. Possible. Is it possible to you change a bet? one time. I don't think you can change a bet. Yeah. Yeah. Regrets are uh, <laughs> inevitable. Yeah. I, I don't <laughs> think you can after. I can't bet because I'm the host, but um, How... streamers can't cast a prediction. Oh. Oh, two people on Atari, but only 4% of the bites. So they're like, because mm, like you don't have to bet much. Seems rational. It seems like people yeah. are betting rationally. Yep. This is what's supposed to happen. It Early is, on when yes. we did the testing, they were it was 50-50. Just... That was just madness. Because <laughs> it's exciting. If Atari wins, everything goes to that one or two people, like a ton. I think go back and bet again on the other side, but you can't remove your first bet. I don't, I, I don't know. You'd have to confirm that. I don't know. Darcy could try it. If he's watching the stream, but he's not. I'm not. I can't. <laughs> he's on the stream. I got a new phone, and since I plugged my SIM card in my new phone, text messages that come from, like, Business. what do you call it? Like, like it, where they send you oh, a security you know, code. It those, might, those are delayed. So it might be a spam protection, but, but why, why my new phone? Why, why new was phone? it working differently oh, when I had my new phone? Okay. okay. Let me do that. You're on the treat patrol. Bell's getting really I'm loose. the important one. No, he is. You can't get these without those. Okay, cats. Are you ready? Come on. Get on your own sides. You ready? Okay. Oh, Atari's on it. Atari's on it. Oh, Sprite is batting at it. He's not getting it. He is having trouble. He's being super lazy today. What is... Oh, that did ring it. But was, was he allowed back? to ring the other bell? Yep. Okay. Yep. It totally counts. He is not even moving. What? This is the height of laziness. Oh my God, cats! <laughs> what? Is... Oh, now he gets up. He's like, "This isn't working." There we go. Now he's caught up. Sprite is two two. Come on, Atari, ring that bell. Get on it. Oh, that's another ring for Sprite. Oh, not hard enough. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Nope. Oh, I heard that. It did ring slightly, very, very slightly. Tied up three three. Oh, Sprite is now on his game. He's like, I, oh, nice. Atari's caught up. Oh, oh, nope. There we go. Sprite is having a little bit of trouble. Oh, very strong rings from Atari, but he's lagging just a little bit behind Sprite. Sprite is now catching up. Now he's well ahead. Sprite's advantage is he eats it very quickly. Oh, oh my goodness. 7-5 now. Make sure you toss it over here. I did. Okay. Tari needs to catch up really quick. Sprite needs a distraction. No, uh, he's uh, still Sprite's got it. Sprite's advantage is that he will eat it where it is, and Atari needs to oh steal God. it. It is game point, yeah, because he'll eat it. Oh, I don't think this is going to work out for Atari. There's one more ding. Sprite has got it. He's distracted. Oh, you're distracting him. That didn't ring. And it's over. No, it's too late. It's too late, Atari. It's too late for points, but he gets a final snack. That's true. For 
non-cruelty uh, to animals. Atari uh, had a good reasons. start. He had he a did. good start. It, but his his didn't work his out. Uh, his real problem, especially today, yep. is that he he enjoys the taste of a stolen treat too much, and so <laughs> like we had that with our cats, Freddy. Yep. He would always steal his food because stolen food tastes better. So he would be like, "Oh ah, yeah," he'd take, he'd take whatever it was and run over here and eat it. Like, ah, I got the stuff. Ah. And uh, oh, the other it? cats were just like, "I'll just eat it out of my bowl," like a the same person. Um, and that's what's happening. He's going over here to eat it. Well, he knows that Sprite steals it. It's stolen. He likes uh, yeah. to steal it. He's like steals his own steal food. It. Okay. Uh, can you open up the door? Yeah. Gets gets toasty in here. Even though it's quite that. cool today. Oh, watch your hands too. So seven thousand points go to Carl G and two others. You probably didn't gain much because there was only seven fifty to give. Oh, thrust is now working. Yay! What did you do? Missed the food scramble. Oh, Dave, you missed the food. You missed the food. Oh, we showed off uh, ZPH the game on the show uh, the other uh, last episode. So thank you so much for making that happen. Um, there's a couple corrections in the listing that we need to fix up but I'll, I'll get in contact with you very very soon about that not couch compliant should trigger a sound of you tanya darcy and errol is creating not couch compliant Ooh, we'll have to record that when we all get together for the four player day we'll do another cat food scramble <laughs> um, at the end of the show rich with bites okay um so let's go back to the topic of the day. Did you ever type in games from book magazine? I was following up on the error checking code for typing in machine language uh, programs. So often they would have a mistyped hex code, like at least once or twice per program. Oh my God. So, like it was rare they wouldn't have a mistype and they would have to correct it the next magazine. But of course, it's like, halfway through the program or three quarters of the way through the program it'll be like error mismatch and i'm like nope no no there i typed it exactly and of course you're like you don't have the code to know what's the wrong code i mean if you knew if you knew hex really well in machine language you'd be like okay there's the mistake if it was like the command was maybe the mistake or you really knew what was going on with the program, but you wouldn't. It's just hex code. So really, right? really the logical uh, decision is to well, only write yes. in the codes from last week. And that's what I started doing. It was like <laughs> this, because you, I don't think you could save it. No, you could save it halfway, but it was like just so frustrating that you're, and it would take a long time to type out the codes. I haven't had my sister on the show, but she would do the reading out of the magazine uh. and she would read them out because it would, she liked doing that. She really enjoyed doing that. Pokes were black magic to me, yes. Uh, I read Ahoy magazine. That wasn't the most popular magazine. I think it was like Compute was the most popular one. But I like, Ahoy was much more visually appealing. It mm. was like really bright and really great um, graphics on the cover and in the magazine, so I went for that one. And they had really great games that you could type in. But they always had errors. They, they Unfortunately, they did not do proofreading <laughs> proof very well. Other, it seems so like Thrust, had, Thrust went with the, a magazine that had... Um, the magazine I used editor. provided its own <laughs> other editor, which used checksums. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's the same for Ahoy. It, it had checksums at the end, and it would just be wrong. <laughs> the worst was when it didn't work right, but you didn't get an error, so you didn't know where the problem was. Oh, yeah. Anyway, it was it it was fun doing that. Did you do any of that? You typed in yeah. some stuff, but only it? I think only once. Which um, computer was it for? Trash eighty. Trash eighty. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember what magazine it was? I don't remember what magazine. I think it was a. What's the one where the missiles are coming? Missile Command? Yeah. Like a Missile Command form. type. That type of game, I think, nice. is what it was. And it was graphical. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Not text-based. But it was a Trash 80 version of it, so who knows. <laughs> it could be, could be text-based, yeah. Rainbow Magazine? Oh, some people know. Uh, I 
trash 80s it, this it isn't God. something i would have recall on i i am <laughs> was positive a, was that information ago. was not recorded <laughs> like you didn't have a subscription to it no or, okay no. you probably would have known because i had a subscription till it ahoy till it changed to amiga and i didn't even have an amiga and then like oh my god it's mostly amiga I'm it was definitely a canceling. magazine that i got from someone not oh, uh, okay. from a store yeah. or a uh, subscription <laughs> oh the one i read was for the trs80 color computer and that's what i had yeah so yeah it could it have was been a, rainbow yeah. Yep, good man. Um, so somebody found it early. I added a not couch compliant trigger now. So if you ever, like, this probably, it kind of applies to the Atari 8-bit. Like, if I have to go up and press reset, like, it's mostly a joystick game, and I have to go press a button every time to reset the game, definitely trigger it then. Mostly it'll apply to 7800 or 2600, where I have to go press reset or uh game select or even difficulty yeah chat advertised at me didn't need mean to spoil it no it was good it was fine um i'm going to also add in a rage reset i just have to find a good sample for it um if i ever get up and reset the game before it's done um or and also one that alerts me to problems that's happening on the stream some people type it in the chat uh, and i'm like playing yeah, a, a game good one. And we're not looking at the chat immediately. Yeah, we can't hear you. Yeah. Or I can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like right now when we're not playing a game, we have the chat right in front of us. I can't hear you. Uh, the stream is dead. <laughs> yes. um, we don't see anything. <laughs> yeah, we're shaming devs now. We always shame devs. No, we help devs. <laughs> um, and I've also, as I announced at the top of the show, we've redone Camera overheated. <laughs> that too. That shouldn't happen anymore. But um, <laughs> even in the height of summer, like I have a proper video camera camera before we're using cameras that happen to record video. I think it's funny that you're pointing first. at a, a photo camera and calling it a real video camera camera. <laughs> well, it's primarily... Oh, made I get it. for it I get because it. it's not good at taking photos uh, it's yeah. good at doing video, video. Mm -hmm. yeah and tanya's camera is very good at taking photos uh. but not good for video yeah helping with ridicule <laughs> <laughs> um uh, yeah i've redone all the audio it's better for me like for volumes and stuff but it's all kind of new so once we start playing the game let me know uh, if the volumes are crazy or the ducking's not working. Like if we start talking and the volume of the game doesn't go down. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Anyway, you guys usually are pretty good about letting me know about audio. Okay, so um, that's the news. Nothing has happened. Usually around this time when it starts going into holiday season, the news gets really low. But uh, so the focus today is on one developer in specific. And what this person has done, this name, uh, the person's name is, um, oh my goodness, long, 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 uh, Fabrizio Caruso. And they have made um, a compiler, a cross compiler called Crosslib. And let me show you the web page for this Crosslib. Crosslib and games that use it Cross Chase, Cross Shoot, Cross Bomber, Cross Snake, Cross Horde, Cross Verbix. I'm just dropping the cross for all the, the names of the games, but I think they're officially called Cross Shoot, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, the Universal Retro Hardware Abstraction Layer the ver use the very same code for about 200 vintage computers, consoles, and calculators, and other devices. Um, and we've also featured another person on the show in, in Futo, I think his name is, a Japanese developer. And he's got his own cross compiler that he uses, that he's programmed. And this person has also made their own, which is completely separate. Um, and we're gonna be playing eight of his games today on the show, plus a bonus one that he made for a 10-liner. Um, so he's made a total of nine games for the Atari 8-bit. So I just thought I'd throw in the ninth game because that's every single game in the Atari 8-bit. Oh, Catball Arena, hello! I am Mouse Games on the Atari Age forums. Hello, Catball Arena, welcome! I bet you like cats. And the cats have disappeared now because they got fed. They'll be back once they go, mm, is it time for the treats? Because they know there's an hour gap. They're very observant. <laughs> um, <laughs> the goal, 
Crosslib is a retro hardware abstraction <coughs> layer for coding universal games with the very same code for hundreds of mostly 8-bit systems, consoles, computers, scientific calculators, handheld consoles, or arcade boards, wow, hacked toy computers, etc. Crosslib is a write once, run anywhere framework for vintage systems, i.e. you code a game once in an abstract hardware agnostic way, and Crosslib produces the very same game for about 200 vintage systems. Um, so is yes. so it's not that your code is being used oh. in all of them, but that your code is being compiled. Yes. And the differences between them is being handled by the compiler. Yes. Oh, okay. So, I thought what you were saying at first is they isolated all the systems and went what which codes which <laughs> commands oh. do they all use in common and limiting to the set to that and just like making that set work <laughs> i mean that that is another way of doing it say you're coding for the chip that's shared between like like 6502 chip mm -hmm. which works in the 2600 atari 8-bit nintendo mm -hmm. apple um commodore 64 but they all handle it handle it so differently yeah. but the commands are the same um, so it really wouldn't work very well across those. So no, it's... This makes more sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's made eight, eight games. Um, the most significant supported vintage CPU architectures are, uh, Cosmac RCA-1802, Intel ADA, uh, MOS-6502, which is a lot of the systems we play. Oh, you brought your spring. This morning... I tossed this 20 times, around 20 times, and he brought it back. So he is now like fetch He's cat. Part. Okay, ready? Ready? Go get it. So cute. Oh my god. Um, Motorola 6803, Motorola 6809, TMS 9900, and Zilog 80. Um, so 6502 is the one that that's the one you were listing off all the systems that use it yeah, yeah. that's okay. that like 6502 like ruled the 80s yeah pretty much and uh will be my next tattoo <laughs> is the 6502 chip somewhere I haven't figured out where uh he's also uh given a full list somewhere on your cpu i would think somewhere, somewhere. between somewhere here, here and here <laughs> I haven't narrowed it down yet. Not not here. I've I've eliminated some things. Yeah. Not not on my forehead. Not on my neck. Because I that's think too on your common. spine, because that's where you would plug a chip in. Probably, probably somewhere along the main bus line. The main bus line. <laughs> that's pretty smart. Hmm. That's good. Can I exchange this springy thing for a treat? No, he does it on his own. He doesn't expect <clears throat> a treat. So here's the list. Like it's extensive. But in the Atari realm where we play, um, Atari 5200, Atari 7800, Atari 8-bit, and Atari Lynx. Um, he has stated that the Atari 7800 doesn't quite work well with the other architectures. So some of the games we're going to be playing today aren't available on the 7800. Okay, so here's the question, because yeah. I'm still not 100% on it. Yeah. So the Atari and the atari 5200 have different capabilities so when you make the game they're very it... similar very very similar the 5200 and atari 8-bit very similar okay this one and this one super super they're they're basically the same computer with different capabilities okay so it's the atari like that's the odd one out and you can see here okay. there's two things missing high-res graphics and missing sound so he hasn't implemented but that's on the that's on the seventy eight hundred. Yeah, and that's not on, the Atari. No, it has high res graphics. It does. He's, this is more. He has implemented the high res graphics, and he just hasn't implemented high res graphics gotcha. in the seventy eight hundred. Okay, so uh, scroll. So, and there's some that he's missing one or the other. Keep uh, going down. Are you looking? Okay, for... so the Commodore sixty four. There we go. He's so got you make fully a game. Supported. You make a game, yep. and it goes on the Commodore sixty four. What? So how does that work on the Atari then? Uh, how does it work? Because they both? have different limitations. So like, what? What? Well, does that's it look a good like? question. Yeah. So you have to look at all these architectures yeah. and go, what can they all do? Okay. Um, so he has. Uh, the so you self-limit to make it work, but yeah, everywhere. Okay, okay cool, yeah. Um, 
so you look at the Commodore 64, let's say for graphics mode and the Atari mm -hmm. and you go, okay, one has 160 pixels wide mm -hmm. and the Commodore has hundred, it has a 160 mode as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and they both have three twenties as well. Um, but some of these computers will not have a 320 mode. It'll have a 160 or probably even 80. Some of the gotcha. calculators, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to find the minimum spec that most of these will run on or all of them will run. And then you go, okay, now I have to make all my games with 80 pixels across and say gotcha. 40 high or 80 high or whatever. Um, I'm curious what systems you can target that use an Intel 8080. Does this? Oh, it does. So we can do a search actually. Or can we? Oh, it, yeah, see, 6502. So let's do the 8080. Uh, Altair 8800. Uh, CPM 8080 DAI. Some of these are going to be so obscure. Oh, that's Six, it. Three. three. So that's probably why you asked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Under your hair. I did think about that. Like somebody suggested like behind the ear or there, but then you wouldn't be able to see it. Like it yeah. would be covered with hair. And I want people to see it i want to see it i don't have to i don't want to shave off my hair every time i want to see it the purpose is the purpose is to see it um so if you look like the trs 80 um it uses the motorola 6803 um so if we could go to 6803 that's it <laughs> just the one computer that used that chip i guess if that's the right one that we're looking at TRS-80 MC10. Do you know what that one means? Not familiar no. with the line of computers. Uh, looks like it's 4K computer. Do you remember how much memory yours had? Uh, I think they started with 4K and they could go up. 64 probably if you maxed it out. At least 32, maybe yeah. 64. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think 64. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so this he has the full list. There's, like he said, over oh, 150. Okay. <laughs> A okay one forty six not sure K O hmm. unknown two hmm. oh he's got statistics here as well um six five zero two twenty four so Zilog eighty oh wow what's a Zilog eighty then let's see yeah. Zilog eighty um Luxor ABC Mattel Aquarius aware of that one don't know much about it uh like is it maybe like a chip they used in like oh, little Commodore 128 there oh, you okay. go computers links oh a coleco vision there we go yeah. coleco vision adam amstrad oh, it, yeah well-known ones uh casio <laughs> uh, that's what i was gonna say like oh game gear sega game gear so yeah oh robotron wow very yeah that was widely widely used see the nintendo 6502 amstrads um nec computers in japan uh, sinclair sega? texas sega. instruments oh sega sega master system mm -hmm. oh yeah this is even the gdr robotron there we go, Robotron, Zilog 80. Yep. Or Zilog, Zilog. Sinclair. Zilog. Is that the one we were looking at? Watching ZX80. Video? Yeah, we just watched a video of somebody repairing uh, uh, Sinclair ZX80. Z. It's British. <laughs> Not ZX. What did you say? Did you say ZX or ZX? Uh, Probably ZX. Can you. What? I don't know if I even said it. I oh. think I said Sinclair. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back to this. Um, Crosslib provides a library with hardware agnostic APIs for game development. Scripts that automatically convert the compiler agnostic graphic access, assets to target specific graphics asset formats. So you specify, let's, for example, I don't know if it does this, say graphics on one computer can handle 16 by 16 graphics, but some can only handle 8 by 8. It mm -hmm. would like abstract the yeah it would either make it eight by eight or you would provide a 16 and an eight i don't know how it works but maybe 
Make files that handle the build process, user-friendly. That start. does seem like the best way to do it. 100%. Like, you make you, the 8. You, you make the 8 and the 16, yeah. Rather yeah. than it mushing something that doesn't yeah, look yeah. like anything. Um, there we go. User. Codes. Runs. Edits. Draws. External tile editor. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Anything else interesting? That's not too crazy. Uh, runs on Windows, Linux, Ubuntu, Linux, FreeBSD. Um, nope, nope, nope. How to build things. So it's, it, I, I just found, I find this concept really, really cool. Oh, screen size. This is interesting. Um, using Crosslib API is not enough as the screen size and shape may be different. Crosslib exposes a constant X size for the width of the screen and constant Y size for the height of the screen. Both these macros are measured in terms of tiles. Game code should rely on the fractions of X size and Y size and never use hard-coded sizes or use conditional directive to cover all sizes. By doing so, upon comp compilation, the game will auto-adapt the target screen size. So it's a tile-based rather than... That's interesting. Rather than a specific pixel size and that way it's more compatible across platforms oh yeah 2600 is not on the list which draws well, that is so differently than but that's else. what that's actually what i would i was misunderstanding yeah i thought when it said atari that it was talking about the 2600 oh. that's why i was like but how could the 2600 be part of this list because it's so different than the rest i mean but now i now it makes more sense it could be added Theoretically, because some people have made tile-based games, like take a look at Penalt, um, or there's there's plenty of other games as well. Not plenty, but a number of games that have made tile-based um, games. I don't know if they would fit in the framework and the screen size and the tile number because it's fairly limited how big the screen size is, so I doubt they could adapt it. But there is a tile-based engines that are out there. Um, so it's possible. Boulder Dash, yeah. My 8 bit was a TRS 80 Coco 2. Um, okay, tile based graphics. Um, is tile based as this is the only possible graphics going to be supported by all targets? For targets with graphics, the shapes or of tiles are only defined at compilation time and cannot be redefined. So for targets with graphics, smoothly moving sprites can only be implemented as software sprites through pre shifted tiles. Uh, most targets with graphics have an 8x8 pixel tiles, but some other targets with graphics have different shapes. So do not implement logic that only assumes 8x8 pixel tiles. Hmm. Uh, if you want to support targets with no graphics, tiles that are just mapped to ASCII, you would avoid either avoid code that depends on tile shapes, or if you have to implement an alternate version for your non-graphics targets. So I guess you specify which systems you want to output because different systems will have different capabilities um because there are definitely some systems in this list that have no graphics capabilities like say a calculator i guess um bolded ash is 40 pixels across mm. for example the for the game cross snake you can see how it was rendered on the msx1 graphic sounds colors and on the game boy graphic sounds but no colors oh yeah Oh, that didn't make it any bigger. Let's let's just zoom in. Oh, I've lost it. No, I zoomed in and it changed where it was. That's a bit better. So, yeah, you can... Like, the graphics are the same. So I guess you also have to keep in mind, don't rely on colors for your games. Like, don't, mm. play, don't make, say, in this game, a green apple and a red apple. And the red is bad and the green's good mm. because when you port it to such something like a game boy it's not going to work because they yeah. just it just doesn't work and um i guess they're not implementing um shading it's just a on or off colors depends how they implement in colors interesting um color sound and graphics some targets have no colors or no color on text or no sounds or no graphics, who so do not write any logic that relies on the presence of colors, sounds, graphics. Or if you do, use conditional directives to implement an alternate logic for targets 
with no color sounds graphics. Okay, so you can implement sounds for machines that have no sounds, but don't rely on sounds in your game yeah. because the person won't be able to play it. Mm. Uh, loading the games, the future, uh, improving, improving the exposed APIs, support more cross compilers, native compilers and system sub targets, adding more features, more redefinable tiles, more sound effects, etc. Oh, I see. So you define tiles in the programming language and then you use those tiles in the game. Hmm. Coding more universal games and demos. So he's got eight that he's made so that he can show off capabilities of the system in different ways. And so it'll be a, a good cross section, I think, of games because he wants to show off the system. Oh, yeah. Carl G, you'll see bang, bang, bang appear on the screen for no sound system. <laughs> That's a, that is a good way of showing that something has worked through sounds. You could just put a text on there. Of course, that text would appear for all the systems. So you don't want it to be uh, obtrusive and get in your way. And there we go. Cool. So I think... We are ready to play, unless I have any other notes. Let's see. I think I just copied most of this. Yeah, I think we're ready. Okay, so for the first game, we're gonna be playing Shoot. Um, this bill is from last year, February. It's a 20K game. And uh, Shoot is available for uh, Atari 8-bit, 5200, and the Lynx. But today we're gonna be playing them all on the 8-bit system. Let's get that up on our screen. Didn't we have this framework for in a previous show? No, we played Inufuto's game. Is it Crosslib that Inufuto uses? But I swear Inufuto made his own cross compiler. Let me just look up Inufuto's. Um, um, games. Inufuto game collection developer nice games uh, it's hard because there we go his github that'll help let's see repositories oh he uses is that it something called kate oh i can look at my notes actually in you futo. Sorry. <laughs> I have something to look at. In you futo. There it is. I found his page. And now I just have to go to his home page. No. No, can't find it. Oh no, <laughs> I'll have to look it up. Uh, let's, let's see, where's the one where I did all his games? There it is, I'll have notes in that one. Inufuto, who is Inufuto? Kate, uh, C-like programming language compiler for retro CPUs. Yes, so he doesn't use crosslib. He uses something called Kate. So he did. He does have his own, he has his own uh, cross compiling that he made, which is, I, th I thought I remembered that. Okay, back on track. Yeah, I just find this, this whole thing very fascinating because I remember typing in games. It's like basic. Basic was very similar across yep. um, different systems so that you could. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I totally see. I totally see the the thing. Yeah, yeah. So here you go. So the first game. What did I? What did I say it was? It is. Let's get this back to normal. Normal color. There we go. That's not normal color, but it's close. We're enough. going shoot. Yeah, shoot. That's right. Shoot is a shooter, somehow similar to Robotron. Let's actually reset this. I don't like that yellow color. I am doing something that is going to fix that, hopefully. No, it's bad still. Why? That's what it's supposed to look like. No, it's supposed to be very white. And that's like just a little bit off-white. I think it's something to do... Actually, let me try something. Oh, 
For a second there it was. Yeah, it goes in and out. Oh, that's the worst kind. It is. And I'm theorizing that it is due to the power requirement of like all these things. So let's take the Fuji net out. It's gonna be a lot, one less thing that needs it needs to power. No, it's still terrible. Oh well. It looks it looks good right now. Okay. So read read the things. Um, enemy, skull, boss, bullets, power, mine. 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 You have to kill a horde of ghosts on each level. You can kill them by hitting them many times or by hitting them enough to push them against the walls. Uh, you can also kill them by placing mines, but you have to get the mine item. A mine instantly kills common enemies. At the end of each level... When only a few ghosts are left, or you survive without killing enemies long enough or in the boss levels, you are confronted by some hard-to-kill, skull-shaped enemies. As a secondary goal, you can complete this level by killing the skulls before the last ghosts, and by doing so, you unlock extra items and secrets in the level. Destroying the missile bases can also unlock items. The game has many secrets, levels, and items to discover. Hmm. Okay, let me read the second write-up he did about it, because he's posted these in multiple places. The game's goal is to kill all the common enemies or kill all four skulls. Common enemies can be killed by... Oh, that's about the same. Okay, let's do it. Use the joystick. Oh, kill all the skulls before the blah to unlock items. Blah. So that's what you just said. Destroy So we get a dollars and a wrench or diamond and a, a dude. extra life. Yeah. That's my guess. Yeah, probably. Level one. Press fire. This I, I, that. Oh, get your get your get your throwing star. There you go. Mm, Darcy did not understand what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I think to throw the throwing star, you have to move in that direction first. Oh, you don't have one yet. Did you get? The I did. Star? I picked it up. Oh. It's not throwing it. No. It says you have twenty nine. That's weird. Or maybe I have to press the button and then move the joystick. Maybe, but I didn't think so. There you go. Yep. It's working. Yeah, you have to press the button and then move the oh, joystick. Oh, okay. Oh, so you can stand in one place and... Yeah, yep. don't touch them. Don't touch Thanks. them. Thank you for that very important tip. You're very, very welcome. I know it's a, it's a pro, pro, ah! pro gamer tip. You're invincible for a little bit, I think. The flashing. Thrust says, so there are two frameworks at least. Yeah, at least. I I bet there's more out there. I think the other framework includes the oh. 2600. I don't think it did. The other framework is is a little bit different than this one. Ah! Oh, you're oh God! Run! Ah! Oh, you lost! <laughs> there are a lot of creatures, and they're coming after you. I does losting a uh, lot here. I will be back in a minute. I'm going okay. to go try to figure out how to use your coffee machine. Oh, boy. So I didn't have coffee this morning. Oh, boy. And Didn't Tanya offer you a coffee? I remember her offering a coffee. I did have a coffee. It was small. <laughs> it didn't I count mean, as a coffee. I didn't have a coffee this <laughs> afternoon. Not a real this coffee. Just barely afternoon, I mean. Okay. You're right. I said the wrong thing. I'm a liar. I'm... <laughs> Shame. I'm sorry. Shame. I'm sorry. Shame. Okay. Let's see if I can... Meow. Okay. okay yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. What happened? Well, he, he, got a, he got excited. Get into the wall. There we go. Oh, I threw way too many. Now I have nine left. Oh, God. So I think you have to, like, find them that they're close to the wall. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh, my God. It's tough. I just have to stay very far away from them. Okay, I have to get... Oh, I'd have zero. There, that guy's dead. And this guy's near the wall. Got him. Okay, so I kind of have to lure them down. And then... Oh, gonna die. Nope, run away. I need more shurikens. Oh, run right getting better wondering if this is play field only and not using any of the player objects it's a good question how they implemented it on the Atari 8-bit 
kind of have to throw more than you need because they also move. Ooh, let's draw them all towards this side. Oh, they're getting fast. Oh my god. They're all around my enemy uh, weapon that I need. Okay, you go into the wall and you clear some more off. Oh, what's that? Is that good? Oh, you have a mine? Oh, what's that? I think that's a slow down. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I died right away. Right as soon as I got the slow down. I'm pretty sure that's slow down. Oh, there's less guys. Thank goodness. Or am I starting off? Oh god. Oh, I need to slow down really bad. Come on. Oh my god, he's relentless. Don't think you can kill these guys. Oh, they go right through the wall, too. Oh, my God. No! Damn it. it. Means I only have one guy to left? Nope. Dead. Challenging. So, enemy, skull, boss, bullets, power. Power. Does it say anything about the S, which I think is a slowdown? I, can I hit the walls? No, I'm fine hitting the walls. Oh, my God. Run away. Oh, I started with 30. That's weird. It's random. Because last games, I started with nothing. Okay, up, up, up. I'm going to get my... No! Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> I was surrounded. Okay. Oh, now I start with nothing. Oh, you know what? I bet I... The shrew can... The, the weapon... I landed on the weapon when I started. That's why I had them al al already. Run, run, run. Oh my god. Run, 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 run. And now I'm out. Oh, I drove him back far enough. Go, 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 go. Okay, up here. This is kind of like Pengo, I guess, where you're like pushing things into the sides. These might help me a lot. There we go. Oh, I gotta get whatever that is. Oh, freeze! Nice. That is good. Oh, only for a second, but... Ah, oh, I did it. I won! First level. My god. Atari 8-Bit has a concept of a playfield and the player objects as well. I wonder if, uh, no, 2600 wasn't in there. I didn't think so. I would have definitely played them on the 2600. And I remember playing them on the 8-bit. Okay. okay. Guy. There we go. Let's get this guy. Oh, my God. Got him. Nice. No! I've got four guys left, though. Three now. Oh, no weapon. Get the weapon. Get this guy. No! Like, this could be made in basic. Because it's all tile based. It'd be slow as hell in basic. But... Oh, God. Run around. Oh, get this guy. Nope. Oh, my God. They're surrounding me. Oh, I need that badly. There we go. I wonder if I have enough to drive these guys into the wall. Nuts. No, oh, you throw enough at oh my god okay everybody over here come on oh, some are taking a different route so they don't go directly for you they go oh those kill them oh that's good oh i don't have any weapons oh they're randomly appearing there we go get out of here before the other guys come no 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 yeah, it could be made for ASCII only for Commodore Pet. Yeah. Try to go for the enemies close to a wall. Yeah, that's kind of the... That's the best thing you can do. And they all start near a wall, which is good. Um, so you kind of have to draw them, like, down near a wall. Then almost go around them. Oh, God. I you, failed! You failed? Oh. I could not figure out how to use your machine. It's uh, it's got a couple steps and it's like it's not that bad but 
I saw some icons and I moved the dial to the icon that I wanted, <laughs> but I could find no way to activate said uh, situation. Oh no. And uh, so I boiling water for tea. Okay. <laughs> Second place, tea. <laughs> okay, dudes. You get into that. Get in. Get. I wonder if it kills those skulls. Nope. Skulls are immune. No, no, you have to set it off, don't you? Or is it a mine? Yeah. Oh. I think... I don't think... Oh, I can absorb it. You have to it. pick it up. It said you have to pick it up, and then you... Have you used it before? Uh, when they run over it, uh -huh. it they did die. Oh, okay. Okay, let's, let's... Ah, no! Watch. Oh, there we go. One left. That's not worth it. <laughs> it kills one? Yeah. Oh, it's worth it. They they start peering quite quickly. Oh God. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, the freeze like lasts so little. Oh, you can place them. Okay. Okay, but dude is not. Oh, they just absorb them. Okay, you come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. This game's crazy. <laughs> James needs to be. The machine needs to be unlocked by the Konami code. Can you kill the skulls? So far, I haven't been able to kill the skulls. They absorb the the mines, I guess. Um, they're just there to... Secret found. Oh, what do I do? Oh my god. Missiles? Is that... Uh, it oh. said something about destroying missiles. Oh, okay. In the opening screen, but I don't really know... What? Or if I can... Oh my god. Oh my god! I don't know if I can destroy this missile. Oh my god, this is, this is crazy. Have you picked up your ninja star yet? Uh, I have some already, cause, but I just can't get around these guys to... There I go. One. Oh, that S would be so nice to get. Have you tried killing them? <laughs> oh! It seems, like, it seems like you haven't tried to kill them. Because they're so far from the wall, I have to use up so many... Oh, you have to hit them into the wall? Yeah. Yeah, or shoot four. them lots of times. Um, you can shoot them lots of times as well. Oh, I need to... Okay, there... Oh, of course it has to be there. Come on, get into there. I must have got one of them, but... I if I have any mines. Nope, no mines. I, uh, they are randomly appearing a bit. What? Are there... Oh my god, that was close. Okay, I'm just going to shoot them. Because these guys are too fast, and they're, like, too near the freeze. Or too near the slowdown. Oh, that was cool. Not I do idea. like how much faster you can move. It feels to me oh, like it's very fair. A um, like an agility game, as opposed to oh, I could go right through it. It yeah. They're oh, the things are right in the center. I just can't get to them, and they're not dying on that that mine. Maybe I have to you pick have to it pick up. You have to pick it up and place it. I think yeah. Yeah. Ugh. You have three of them, don't you? Uh, it says I do, but I can't seem to delay them. Nope. Hmm. Oh, can I get it? Ah, oh, finally. Yes! Okay. There. <laughs> Have one. Oh, now I can lay them. Maybe that's the ability to... Oh, God, I'm dead. <sighs> I still have a couple lives left. This <laughs> is... Yeah, watch the cats. Don't don't run faster on the cats. They'll uh, they'll try and kill you. Oh boy. Oh, oh my God. This game is really good, but really hard. Is there any sound? There's no sound. Some of these games don't have sound, unfortunately. Or is there sound? And I'm just have the volume so bloody low. Just try one. Quickly one more. Oh, there's sound. I just have it low. And low in here as well. Very low. Okay, let's do this again. There we go. Now we have sound. Sorry, everyone. Like I said, we have clicking sound of the joystick. Okay, just gonna die. On purpose. Yeah, you're invincible at the beginning. It's really smart. Really great uh, programming on this game. And a really great example of a tile-based game. Okay. Am I dead? No, one more. There we go. 
and its ability to um it also has the ability to, to pile up um tiles on top of each other because if you notice you can get them all clumped together oh it's much better with sound <laughs> You can kill them eventually. Ooh. Scary. There we go. I mean, it's obviously better to force them into a wall, but... Oh my god. Sometimes they move fast, and sometimes they don't. Ah! You can move them into that wall, too. There we go. Oh, speed slow down for them. Or maybe not. I wonder what the S does. It's not really great explanations for these games. Freeze freezes them. Got that one. Not sure what the S does. Oh god. Here it comes. I think I might be able to do it. Yes! In the biz we call that diegetic sound. How about your game programming? I've been thinking about it about as far as I've gotten thinking about a different I did come up with a different concept for a game so I'll add that to the pile I don't know if that helps things um but oh, what did he move out oh there was two of them oh my god oh here we go come on oh no and there's three that can just break through um like I said I have that other project that I have to do which I haven't done as well because it just this show takes up so much of my time, which I love, and it's always comes out top priority because I love doing it. Oh, I think I'm dead. I ran out of shurikens, and they're all near the shurikens. Come on, come on, over here, over here. Okay, run, get my weapon. No. Oh God, run underneath them and around. Oh, can I get it? Run! <laughs> oh, what, 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 what was that? What does that wrench, uh, diamond thing do, anyways? Oh, that's freeze. It's an F. Oh, right, right. Oh, it makes it very easy to push them into a wall. But it only works for a tiny bit. Oh, God. No! Run! Ah! Get the mine. No! Get my weapons at least. It does seem that they slow down when you start shooting. Is that because your bullets are taking up computing time? Uh, yes. And I, should I'm you not guessing. weaponize that? Uh, well, then I run out of bullets eventually, which oh. I just did. Have a mine. Have another mine. Yes, yes. Come into the mines. What are those X's anyways? Those X's right there? The brown X. Uh, oh, around the edge? That's where I forced them into the, the wall. No, at the top. Oh, I see. When you... No, it says three and you've got four of them. Oh, you picked those. Up one. Not quite sure yet. Okay, you, you're the last one. You go into there. Can you push them into the center wall? Yes, you can. So you can use that. Any wall you can push them into. Secret. I don't know about this secret. Have you figured out the missile? No, I don't. It doesn't kill me and it doesn't kill them. Have you shot it? Uh, no, not yet, because it's usually it's in the middle of the screen and, and it's very challenging. So you get in front of it and then uh, yeah. shoot it on its nose. If I get a chance. <laughs> I think I died on this level last time. It's... Ah! Ah! Don't! No! Oh, I'm out. Oh, God. Why are they putting all the power-ups in the center of the screen? Oh, I'm out. Okay, everybody up. Up to this corner. Okay, down. Run, 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 run. No! Freeze. No! <laughs> Missed it. <laughs> okay. Run. Get the all the power-ups. Get them all. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. okay. For a game in which the bad guys oh, have to be shot ah. so ah. many times... It is very stingy oh, God. on the bullet having. 
it gives you more right away. No, but what I'm saying is that, like, considering how many times you got to shoot the things in order to kill them, you'd think it would be more generous with, like, it's already hard to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, I mean, the, the you want to force them into the walls, which is a lot easier than killing them with just straight up bullets. Oh, my God. It's just, it's just, there's nothing blocking them in this one. It's just an open field which makes it hard. Just like Wizard of War. Um, the open field one is brutal. You would think it'd be easier because there's, there's nothing in your way to move out of their way, but it's also nothing in their way <laughs> to go right towards you. Oh, I have two left. Okay, everybody over here. Everybody, come on. All you toddlers. Follow me. Follow. <sighs> I think you underestimate how quickly you move so far. Like you can get them further into the corner. Yeah. And the only consequence is that you'll die if you get it wrong. Nope, can't shoot it. And uh, as it happens, um, that's happening anyways. They're fast too. That's the problem. I'm fast, but they're fast. Okay, we're done. This needs auto fire. Oh, it might have auto fire. Maybe I'm dumb. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, has auto fire. <laughs> uh... That means I'm going to play again. Because that made my life just a lot easier. And a lot better on your ears. Right? Yes. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, run! <laughs> oh. I, they're kind of smart at times, too. <laughs> I'm out. Nope. Oh. None of them died. <laughs> yeah, there's a. They were all bunched up. They're freeze. Ah! Ah! No! Wasted. Wasted. Oh. And I'm guessing they individually keep track of how many bullets they've all. Absorbed. Yeah. Absorbed. Absorbed. God, just <laughs> ran for me. <laughs> mm. It's very nice that it. Um, gives you some invincibility time to get Don't your that weapon. guy in the bottom wall. Ugh. Yep. Oh, come on. Run. There we go. You're close to the wall. Now there's two of them. But there we go. It does, auto fire does waste a lot of bullets though, but it's also very effective. So it's probably much better in general. I don't know what the S does. Does anything at the top change that you see when I get the S? Get into that wall. Oh, died before he did. And that gives you like some more spiky things in the corner. More bullets are required. Yeah. Into the wall with you. Into... There we go. Have you killed all those skeletons before? You cannot kill skeletons. What do you mean? thought that that was the thing you have to kill the skeletons in order to get the bonuses oh if you kill all of them before you kill the last bad guy you get some bonuses uh, i'll try it but uh, so far it doesn't oh, don't have bullets. i don't think it does anything oh never mind <laughs> i'm dumb what i am shooting them it's not killing it yet but yeah but it doesn't kill them to shoot them uh... let's see it doesn't even I slow don't... them down either oh my yeah. god oh money haven't seen that before. Maybe he's... Oh. Ah. I mean, I can't say it looks like they're dying or anything. No. But I swear yet. it said that you got bonuses for killing them all before you kill the last... Whatchamacallit. Well, I'll keep using them as cannon fodder. If I don't die. Oh, extra man. Nice. Okay. So shooting them will give at least secrets, because I've never seen an extra man before. See? Oh, it's shooting them. Give secrets. Oh, did it die? Uh, yeah, you killed one. Oh my god, it just absorbs kittens. Your tail. Get one. Yeah. Only got two left. Extra man. Oh, that is good. Oh, did it didn't seem to give me an extra. It went through the wall, too. 
Oh, drop the mines, which do not kill those guys. Why are you dropping mines? So you oh, I'm invincible. Oh, that's what one of the things did. Ah. Oh, I have no weapons. Oh. No, don't shoot him. Damn it. Yeah, that's right. I need to kill one more guy. Oh, they're all back. No. That's okay. We'll try again. Okay, we're done. Um, s collect the missile. Uh, I It went right through me one time. So I can't touch it. I can't collect it. I can't shoot it. It just keeps going. It doesn't kill them. No idea. Very, very strange. So, 71% have typed in Games for Magazine. See, it says destroy a missile. Oh, sorry. Destroy a missile. Oh, maybe with the mines. You're going to go there. So it says destroy missiles. Destroy Kill missiles. all skulls before blah to unlock items. True. And it did do that. Yeah, yeah. The money. And then destroy missiles. Don't know how. Gives no more information. It okay. could be the mines. It could you gotta be. Re you got to. Okay. We're going to go to the next game. I spent way too long on that one, but it is really good. Really, uh -oh. really good game. What do I. How do I go back? Left if... and then the button. Okay. Hold left and button. It's like going back. Oh, the color's right. Okay, uh, the next one is Snake. This one shouldn't take as long. Uh, this is from October 6, 2022. Well, this isn't the right snake. There's a better snake. There's a graphic snake. Isn't this? Yeah, there's this. This isn't the right snake at all. Oh, no. Snake, how interesting. <laughs> Are you saying that facetiously? <laughs> no, the, the, the snake that I played is much more interesting than this one. Let me just load it up. No, oh, that's the wrong snake. How did I play snake? Maybe it's a different game I'm thinking This about. game does not have couch compliance. Uh-oh. How do you reset? Does it actually start? No. Space. Oh, not couch compliant. Somebody can trigger that. It's definitely not couch compliant. Let me just try and find the snake. sound on this one either. That sound important. Uh doesn't have to be. X snake. Uh oh. There. Okay. I think I found it. Snake Atari color. I have no snake experience. No snake experience. Except for watching other people snake. Uh oh. Snake. Snake. Color Let up the real snake. Oh, got shocked. Oh, thank you, Jedekiah, Jedi for cheering. Hey, oh, friendos. Thank you so much. Hey, oh, to you. Snake, snake color.
Load up the snake color, please. And then I will read about it. Excuse me. Okay, Snake is my personal interpretation of a hybrid game between the arcade Nibbler, that's better, and Nokia cell phone game Snake, which I have added more game elements. As in Nibbler, you, the walls do not kill you and can be used to stop you and let, let better control your movements. As in Nokia Snake, the main goal is to eat apples. If you do not eat any apples for too long, the snake becomes faster and harder to control, consumes its energy, and eventually dies. In each level, you're also confronted with mines that can kill you if the snake's head touches them. Um, and a secondary goal, you can collect rings. If you manage to get three or more rings without dying in a level, you'll be rewarded with a bonus item. Ah! <laughs> the game has several secrets uh, and levels to discover. So you have to go through 32 levels, 16 different maps. It's definitely getting faster. Oh, yeah. Is that part of Snake? Uh, this Snake. It's definitely faster. We don't see the screen. Oh, thank you. See, I need to add that alert. Alert, alert, we don't see the screen. There, now you can see the screen. Thank you. Oh, I ate myself. That RC has 70 redeemed. Alert! Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, next episode, I'll have the alert. Okay, avoid your own tail and body. Mm. Avoid the fixed... I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, why I, that's why I ate my butt. That, that's right. I didn't tell you yet. Avoid fixed and bouncing mines. Avoid to starve by losing your energy. Oh. As you starve, the snakes move faster and faster. So that's, that's the issue. That's why I was going so fast, is that I yep. was just so hungry. So hungry for apples. Using up all your energy. There you go. Ran into yourself. Uh, walls do not kill you and let you pause the game and think about your next move. You can also you can also catch special special items to help in your quest. Quest ring collect three or four for extra points and to spawn more s such items as freeze. I ate two apples that time and cleared it. Oh, interesting. In previous times it took uh, more than two apples. Hmm. Uh, dollars for extra points, extra life, uh, special and hard to unlock item that gives one extra life. Uh, controls, either joystick or space to start or continue. wonder if the joystick button continues. I think it does. Getting fast. Get those apples. So many apples on the screen. Oh, what'd you run into? Nobody wants to know that. Okay. <laughs> they know, but I don't. It was mine. Okay. Press fire. Oh, still on level two. I'll continue for you. Apples. Hello. More apples, please. Oh, God. It happens. So as long as you're... Head doesn't run into uh, those things, you're fine. And you don't run into your tail either, which is increasingly getting Problem. increasingly more difficult because my tail is getting long. There we go. Clear! Woo! Level three! Nice little intros, too. Oh boy. Let's just go back and forth. Run right into it. Perfect. How many they look snakes tasty. do I have left? Doesn't say how many snakes I've left. Or does it just one. You have one. Oh, oh there uh, it is. Top right. Nice when it's slow. When it gets fast, it's hard. Yes. Because your accuracy just goes to zero. Ah. Yeah. Oh, blockage. Let me through. Ah! Nice. I like them when they're against the wall. Yep. Makes it oh, another against the wall. Nice. Oh, oh my god. It's crazy time. No! Whoa! I'm going to play again. Oh, there's mines. Oh, those are the mines. Okay. So you start with five lives. 
So this one doesn't feel as, um, well, the other one didn't feel tile-based either. There's enough movement and action that even though this is tile-based, you don't, you don't have the sense that, oh, everything's made of tiles. Oh, what the hell? I, I found a secret? Lying. Is that what I did? I went it's through a, a wall? Secret. No. no! No, 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 no. <laughs> so hungry, I ate my tail. wonder if the secret's still there. Oh, I almost died again. Almost, but look at all the monies you're getting. All the monies. What do snakes need for monies? What does anybody need with money? It's true. More video yes. games, better computers. That's true. Um, Oh my god. Come on. No! Better computers. Oh, no! Oh! So hard. And it's the apple you gotta get to, to, to slow down. It's not just anything, it's apples only. Yeah, yeah. It does slow you down just a slight bit. Oh. Secrets in here too. Yes. Okay. Let's go get this apple first. Usually, when you have like example games, uh, somebody makes example games for a platform or for um, a programming language, they're like fairly, like somewhat mediocre. These are very good games. Like, there's a lot going on in them. They're not just like, oh, it's Snake Eat the Apple. It's like, oh, there's secrets, and there's things that you speed up and slow down, and there's walls to avoid, and they appear and disappear. It's like, oh, this, there's real, really good gameplay in this. And the last one, too. Oh, I saw he was about to speed up there. I just got the apple as he sped up. Very or maybe true. it just does it when you get an apple. Yeah, it speeds up momentarily. Smell your tea. Mm, tea. It smells good. Oh yeah. I wasn't sure if you were smelling uh, good or bad. No, it's good. It smells kind of like porridge or something. Well, it's got oat milk in it. Ah, that's, that's what English I'm breakfast. Oh, that too. so far unless the apples been against the wall makes it a little bit easier so that apple at the top is that counting down or up well you eat another apple and we'll find out yeah apples do I have to move to Maybe. make them come there we go oh I found a secret or if that's a constant like that's the secret in the level uh, down down okay so that's good that's much better to be counting down Oop. Oh God! Yeah, it gives you infos. Uh oh. I think I'm fine. Just barely. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, it's bad. Okay. It's bad when you're so good. Yeah. Oh, this should be the. Oh, it's not the last apple. No, I'm dead. Oh, <laughs> there's no way. Unless I do super tricky. You can moves. go up. Oh, I can. Thank you. <laughs> it's very obvious. Oh no. Go left. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do this a different way. There we go. Is that an exit? Uh, ooh, it could be. An exit? Like out of the level to a secret area? Mm. I didn't see what he was referring to, but I'm guessing it was like an open spot on the maze. Oh, there's deadly areas now. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. This is like the first level, except with deadly areas. Okay, oh, there's that. I need 12 more apples. Oh boy, it's gonna be a long snake. Only nine more. No. No! Oh no, what do I do? 
Let's go up to the top. Oh, it's too fast. No. Peter mine. Peter mine. Level four. It's hard. Can't wait too long because um, we get fast. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. Right into the mine. Good to go along the edges. I spilled tea. Did you though? No. Good. It was just the. There's always that danger. Cup holder. Sticky cup holder. Sticking to the bottom of the cup, and then when it falls off, that extra weight that's not there Miss anymore. You. Ah! Yeah. Oh, I hate that so much. The, the the white circle on the wall, I believe, is when you pick up a circle, it's oh, counting it there. Yeah. So I've got <coughs> one, and it's now there's one. That doesn't on the mean bottom. you shouldn't try to use it as an exit, but I don't think I it doubt is. it. Because it would always be there on every level. Oh, there's ooh, a nice, nice positioning of these apples. Let's try and get that circle, though. There we go. Getting, oh, my tail. Tail very long now. Being able to pause at walls is uh, so good. In and essential. Older snake, do you die when you run into a wall? Uh, no, I don't think so. Actually, you just hit the wall. And then you can pause there too. Yes. And you don't really speed up in the other snake. I think it's a constant, uh, constant speed. But just the difficulty is your tail just gets in the way. This one, your tail gets in the way, and there's a speed, and there's dangers. And there's barriers that come and go. Okay, you speed up temporarily when you get an apple. Like, just, it goes bloop. Oh my god, come on. No! There we go. Oh, danger zone. Ah! How many snakes do we left? One snake left. Eight of mine. Blew up in my mouth. <laughs> Boom. Oh, it's very dangerous in this little area here. Let's get out of there. Hmm. Apple. There it is. Oh god. But you can hold against a wall. Mm -hmm. So as soon as there's an opening, you can. Um, go for it. I was just about to eat that one. It's like, no, you can't eat that circle. It's not on the board. Oh, danger. Ah! Missed them. It's funny that you missed what you were aiming for, but you ended up getting <laughs> two things anyway. <laughs> Yay! Oh, good. There you go. Darcy, you're torturing yourself. Uh, we didn't the try the level. exit thrust because it's the uh, the circle is when you get a circle, it puts it on the side there to show that you got one. I, mean, I can try it. Yep. No, not an exit. Um, oh, boy. So you're torturing yourself tonight? Yes, we have the 24-hour game night tonight. At Drexel Games in Vancouver. So if you're in the area <laughs> and like board games, or even don't like board games, ah, so like game over. Staying up for 24 hours. <laughs> if you're going for that, they've got the event for you. That's right. Um, here you go. Um, yeah, you do it every year. Have you done it every year, like since the inception of the store? Or did uh, you during COVID, do there were two well, times we didn't do it. Yeah, because. Uh, COVID. It's COVID. <laughs> okay, next game. We, well, gotta, we did it we every other year, for sure. Every 
Not every other year. Every other non -COVID. year. Non-COVID. <laughs> Non-COVID year. Even the first one? First year, like when you first opened? Yep. Oh, nice. So we're doing Horde next. This was released May 12th, 2021. It's an 11K game. Horde is a zombie-themed shooter with many power-ups and several different enemies, levels, and special items to pick up. You control a bow with a limited number of arrows. You get more arrows as possible reward for killing some zombies. If you run out of arrows, you get a few arrows after a short period. In each level, you're confronted with a horde of zombies that become harder as you progress. This is a very tower-type game. Um, if you die... Uh, you die if a zombie reaches the wall behind the bow, or if a zombie hits you with its bullets. In order, in order, zombie bullets. What? <laughs> Aim for the head, or the neck to separate the head uh, off the body. In order to prove your firepower, you can pick up the rings that are dropped when some zombies die. Rings will improve in this order: the range of your bow, the speed of your bow, the number of arrows thrown at once, the power of your bow. After these improvements, the rings will be necessary to unlock special items to achieve the temporary hyperpower. Okay. Uh, Thrust, in answer to your question, I don't know if you got that yet. The circle is just, when you pick up a circle, it puts it down there so you can see how many circles you got. And I guess it's points in the snake. He was asking about the snake. Oh. Um, yeah, I think it's points and you... Get all four of them or something, and you get bonus. I, I'd have you get an to extra tail. Yeah, extra tail. <laughs> oh, that's not bonus. <laughs> what defines the order of the games? Very good question. I don't think anybody has asked that before on this show in five and a half years. Um, oh, my. Wow. <laughs> that's a lot like, of zombies. This guy's a fan of uh, hit points on mobs. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Um, so... When I plan a show, get that power up, um, money. When I plan a show, I have, you know, one to today, nine games. Usually it's around three, three or four, if it's a normal day. And I have to make a choice of what order games go in. And I definitely, every single show, Think about what order I need to put these games in. Now, first and last are usually the first things I consider for putting the order of the games. Usually the first game is usually, say, a world premiere. If I have a world premiere, usually that goes first. Because that's what a lot of people are here for. That's where the biggest amount of people are going to be is at the beginning of the show. And I don't want to get, make them wait too long for the for, for the world premiere. The last game of the show is usually a game that I want to put more time into, the longest amount of time. And sometimes a puzzle game, because puzzle games are usually the death <laughs> of the show for people watching. They'll be like, yeah, we're gone. Because <laughs> there's a lot of staring at the screen, a lot of silence. Double arrows! That's good for not at this moment, because they're all spaced out. But but at the beginning of a level, that'd be good. I don't know what kind of monster that is. Green Double plus. monster. It's cool there's power-ups in this one. Now, do you get to keep that double arrow? No. Oh, that sucks. This double arrow would have been good. And then it's a question of... games in between to fill the time in between those. And I usually want to put... maybe a high-action game, then a low-action game, then a high-action game, and a low-action game. Kind of like that. Um... Or a game that is takes a little bit longer. Oh, auto fire! You could try it. Try auto Yeah, fire. but you don't want to waste bullets because it's, it mentioned that there's a limited number of bullets. You got 55. Try oh, it out. Though. Yeah, I see how you're trying to use up my bullets so good. Try it out though. No, you do it when you <laughs> want to do it with your bullets. <laughs> okay, I'll do it with my, my bullets. I bet there is auto fire. 
He's had auto fire in the other games. So a puzzle game is your version of playing share to get all the party guests to leave. I don't want them to leave. I just know that some will leave because it is a puzzle game and we're quiet and we're contemplating things. No, too far. You're wasting your bullets. That's that's the maximum length. There you go. And the people who um, want to stick around for the puzzle game, like at the end of this show, there is a puzzle game. And I put it there on purpose because when I play puzzle games, I look at the number of people watch and it goes blah. So why not wait for the last last spot? One, one time I did an all puzzle day. <laughs> Oh, but I mean, the graph on people watching was just plummet all the way down right from the beginning. So I tend to make it so it's enjoyable for us and it's enjoyable for the people watching. And that's that's the end goal is to make it enjoyable for everyone. I don't want uh, people so to leave. So when they go into the... Uh... Oh, now you can use the doubles. Oh, what? They go through, through those oh. guys when oh. they're when they're shaped like that doesn't hit, doesn't do anything to them. Oh, I see. They kind of get invincible. Oh, there you go. Now they're stopped. You got some power up that stopped them. And by the way, you are actually using two arrows. Oh. Oh, triple arrows. So you definitely want to use throw it at three people at once when you can. Yeah. So thank you for that question. That's a excellent question. Uh, Thomas. Oh, he's invincible. Wow, really cool options in this game. Where they where the arrows just go through them. Ooh, that guy's sneaking up on you. He's like move oh, what's this? Oh, you get one arrow back. Uh if you run out of arrows. Oh you, arrow drop. You get some you get some after a bit okay yeah you're you you uh you also get drops mm, regular but, drops uh... i'm not going to start from the scratch yeah, yeah, so i'll continue cool. on from you oh and you get bonus bonus for the rings I mean, it's pretty easy to collect um okay i'm gonna do auto fire yep there's auto fire uh yeah this is atari 800 right yep yep or atari 8 bit or 800 xl and that's why I, there was some hesitancy in me. Uh, that's why I double checked. Because... I call them Atari 8 bit, even though every, almost all the systems I play. Oh, was that a. What? You got shot, my friend. <gasps> oh, did I? Yeah, that's oh, that's their. Sh I thought it was a power. Apparently, up. the red ones shoot. Oh, oh my god. Of course, he's hey, right, you, right beside you one. Wanted, uh, you wanted to take over partway through the game. Yeah, level three. Look at the. Look at how many times they're shooting. This is not... Oh my god, this is uh, getting harder. Oh. Oh, the red guys are new on this level. Yeah. Now it's getting tough. Ah. Ah. Ah! It's beside two red guys. Yeah, holding it down is... Like, the arrows don't come out super quick, so holding it down is not really that much. Yeah, to me, I didn't see the downside of pressing the button once each time I wanted a bullet to come out. It wasn't hurting me, but I apologize if it was hurting you. I don't years. apologize much, though. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just, a little bit. <laughs> Just enough to say you apologize, right? Yeah. <laughs> I apologized. What more do you want? God. God! <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, this level is. It gets much harder. I'm glad that much harder. I'm glad that I'm not playing right now. <laughs> this seems too hard for me. <laughs> Especially when the red guys get low. Oh my god! Ah! 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 I don't like this area. Ah! Ah! I gotta get out of here. <laughs> but at least they don't turn it invincible armor mode. Yeah. Which is very yeah. annoying. I'm gonna take out the red guys. Yeah. The blue guys getting there though. 
You gotta get that green guy that's uh, trying to trying to win. You gotta hit them seven times. I don't know about the red ones, but the green ones you gotta hit them seven. And the brown guys, who knows? Because they keep turning into invincible <laughs> losers. Yep, yeah. it's too hard to keep track. Okay, I'm gonna get that brown guy in a sec. Okay. I don't know what money does. I assume it's just points. Just points, which on this game, I just the levels are more interesting, especially with the add-ons of all the different types of characters. Oh my god. These brown guys are annoying they're, with their armor. Oh, thank god. Okay. Okay, I can't remember which ones are the bad ones. Let's do this. Oh, no! Arrows! Please stay like this for a long time. Oh, triples! Oh, yeah. Devastation. Oh, I need arrows. Oh, yeah. No! I do wait until you get a few pity arrows. Yeah, because I'm using three at a time. Yeah. Which is fine, because it's good. So I'm handing out punishment. Punishment. Ooh, more hours to get. These red guys. Oh, this level is brutal. Are more appearing? I swear I've killed a ton. Yeah, they appear from the top. Yep. It's a never ending level. Well, that's yet to be determined. We better get this red guy or it'll land real quick. I think at a certain point they don't shoot anymore when they're too low because that would just be not not fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's three over here, so let's do this. Oh, you bastard. They're all invincible. Look at them all. Okay, now I'm down to just annoying invincible people and they're like hiding constantly. Okay, arrows please. Oh, what's that? Oh, is oh, that good or bad? Defensive wall, I'm guessing. I guess it. Can I shoot through it? Oh, it's my wall. Oh god, this guy. I need to get him. Oh, what's that? I don't know. Hyper. Power up. Hyper. You got hyper. You're hyper. Oh, that's hyper. Wonder if I don't run out of arrows at that point. Did the Atari 800 not display blue? Oh, it does. It has all the colors. 128 colors. Yep, including blue. Many blues. Hey, what's that beside his? channel gorf the, name the move the mouse over it it's a little oh donated to a charity nice all these games are really really good i want to go to the next one but i also want to keep playing well, it starts out with easy guys first i guess one two three four one two three four one two three oh too far And now it's not easy. Oh my god. Okay, here too low. Are you okay with doing a long show or should we speed it up? Because these games are really fun. <laughs> and we have a lot to go through. Or should we speed it up? Uh, I have to leave by about three. Okay. Which is pretty... That would be very long if we went that long. Three? Yeah. I think what I mean is, this is statistically speaking, three hours is... 256, actually. 2600 was 128. Oh, okay. That's what I was thinking of. 256 colors when CTAA was replaced by GTA, if my history is correct. How many are there today? It's nine games. So we're going to go to the next one. This one is <laughs> awesome. This one is so fun. Yeah, it's really with good. With the upgrades and different types of enemies and the different arrows and the bonuses. Oh my God, so good. Okay, next one is called Stinger. And this one was released on October 8th, 2023. This one is the newest game that he has put out. Uh, this one is available for the Atari 8-bit 5200 and Lynx. It's a tank game. Oh, um, I've just released Stinger, the eighth homebrew with, written with, with Cross Lib. Um, so the circle is a power up. Yep. The blue rocket is a rocket. The Points. small blue brown rock 
yeah. is points, and the big one is freeze. And I wonder, if we'll find out if it's freeze you or freeze them. Yeah, that's right. Don't dodge it. Stinger is a shooter with power-ups. Six different levels, five different enemies, several items to pick, uh, pick up, a subset with only about 70... Oh, this one is available for 70 systems. Only 70 systems, he put in quotes. Out of the 200 possible. Level one. Okay, you're at the bottom. I, I, I feel like this one is a continuation of the one we just played. Yeah, it has uh, some, it shares some things in common. And that's why I kind of put them back to back because it was like, oh, okay, uh, we get the idea. Um, like the, uh, like the brown one. Uh, in the other one, it had sort of like armor mode. Nine, uh, definitely won't, won't make it that far. The eighth, then it cannot be the latest. Yeah, this is the latest game. We're not doing them in order. This is the newest game, October 8th. So we put it out like a couple weeks ago. Oh. So it, this is this is the same. Yeah. Like it's, it's just different similar. looking. Yeah. Different power-ups. Yeah. yeah. So we will continue on. The next one is going to be a very short one because we have seen this type of game a million times. What Bomber. It? It's that game where you're playing and you drop a bomb on a building. Destroy, Destroy all, all buildings. buildings. Yep. This was made July 20th or released July 20th, 2022. Oh. It's an 8K XEX. Um, Doesn't seem like necessarily uh, a... Um... Boom. There you go. That's the game. We'll, we'll complete at least one level. Stupid ads. If you subscribe, there's no ads. <laughs> but you don't have to subscribe. Oh. Getting lower. Always bomb the biggest buildings. Tallest buildings. No. Is it? Yeah, you want to do it just a little bit before. No, you want to do it over top. Yeah. Like, I was missing them because I was always doing it, trying to lead. Oh, I see. When the middle of your plane? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you're going to make it. Because it doesn't it. have uh, conservation of momentum in this game. <laughs> yeah, you did it! And you landed. Level complete. We've seen, we've played this type of game on the show before. But it's a good example of the type of games you can make with the system. Next one, Chase, uh, released May 13th, 2021, 14K game. Cross Chase is somehow, somehow similar to Dalek's gnome robots. You need to lure your pursuers into, into the, the mines. mines. <laughs> so kind of similar to an aspect of one of the other games that we played, but this one. Shoot at skull oh. and missile bases for points and items. Very similar. Um, several secrets and items and power-ups to pick up. It's a real-time game. Yes, this is uh... very similar, but just a slightly different. It starts with those things. Ugh. Yeah, very similar. Uh, at the end of, e end of each level or in boss levels, you're confronted by a boss, a skull, which can only be killed by several bullets fired from a gun item. Yeah. You can complete the level by killing the skull before the last enemy, and by doing so, you unlock X. That's very similar. Oh, yeah, this is super similar. Just a different kind of starting. Mm -hmm. uh, no multiplayer games. That That is a good observation. I wonder if his engine allows for multiplayer games. Oh, they're permanent too. Okay, that is different. So you have to shoot the skulls to get rid of those. And you get bonus for shooting all the skulls before destroying. Oh, don't get that close. Ah! Anyway, so we can move on to the next. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very similar. Okay, this next one we have played on the show before. Which is which alerted me to this developer. We played it earlier in the year, so we probably won't play it very long as well. We played it on August August fourth, twenty twenty three. It's called Shuriken. 
Uh, but this one was released June 29th, 2023. I don't know if, I think I played this with Tanya. So. It's not looking familiar right now. Okay, so collect. This one's very different. The brown, brown. diamonds and use. The blocks against, against. the shurikens. Yeah, you can push blocks to block them. Yeah, this one's very different. Where am I? You're in the center. I'm the... When you are story. white, you're vulnerable. When you are blue, you're invulnerable. So you're vulnerable. Don't run into the shurikens. So you want to collect all the brown things that are along... Yeah, you just turned white. Just yeah. stay out of their way, for the most part. I know, but I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Oh, oh you were safe. You're quite big. Yeah, you take and up. So figuring out how, how because normally you're kind of like the same size as other things. I wonder why he's reusing the same graphics over and over again. I bet it's because these are like built-in graphics into the engine that you can use. This one's a little bit different in the fact that yeah, you can become invulnerable by getting the um, the circles. So use them to your advantage. When you get a circle, just like go run for the rest of it. Ooh, you're not quite safe. There you go. Nope. You're going to die. <laughs> sure, going to somehow similar to Pac-Man, and you need to collect all diamonds um, in order to complete the level. There, you're invulnerable. Now run, run. You're invulnerable. Go get some more brown things. Yeah, but I'm not going to be invulnerable for a long... Uh... Oh, there you go. Uh, this one is um, different in the fact that your character is not a single tile. It's actually four tiles. Yeah, like you're bigger than the others. That yeah. uh, complicates it, and it's kind of cool. And, and it's also a... Um, it changes the look of your four tiles, so it appears that it's spinning, right? So that's a difference as well. So it's a good example of being able to make a bigger object out of smaller objects. So you want to kind of... What I've learned in this game is you want to use those to your advantage to kind of make a pattern of the screen mm -hmm. and get the invul invulnerability and then clear a screen go to going to the next invulnerability and then clearing the screen. Yeah, I hadn't realized yet that you needed to use the invulnerability and to line them up that way. I just hadn't. Yeah. It took us a long time to kind of figure that out in the game when we played it last time, too. <sighs> that was really close. So some areas are safe, so you're like, okay, I can do this one. And then, uh, oh, no, and they can bounce off things unexpectedly. Mm. Let's go. I'll just clear this level, because we have played this one on the show before. Perfect timing. Oh, no, it bounced! <laughs> Wait, did it bounce off another one? Yeah. Uh, it's like, oh, that's the danger. There we go. And then I can make it to this area. Two, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, great. It, it was great. There you go. Okay, we'll move on to the next one because you can reference. We played it for quite a while on the other um, stream. Next one is Mines Plus which is not part of this set made with cross lib. This is a 10 liner, uh, a part of the 2020 10 liner. This is a disc image. That's why it's taking time and making those noises as if it's loading off the disc. Um, he came in 14th place um, and this uses the keyboard. So this is also not, um, not couch compliant. You want to trigger that in the bottom? Trigger or so, can somebody trigger the non-couch compliance? <laughs> oh, you really do have to use the keyboard. Yeah, oh. literally you have to use the keyboard. Ah. So you can run into... So the screen slowly fills with... The game is not couch compliant. You have 20 seconds to comply. <laughs> <laughs> the game is not couch compliant. I was trying to do the... Um, uh, from the movie Robocop but I couldn't find a good robot voice so I just went with a female voice couldn't find a good Robo Robocop voice ah 
So you can go through two of them ah. before dying. So you're trying to collect things as quickly as possible in this ever-filling maze. Uh, I'm trying to... Where's the dollar signs? Oh, there they go. Is it turn-based? No, it's not turn-based. Sometimes it's inevitable, but you can kind of go around sometimes. Uh, go through one. Oh, uh, now I'm trapped. And I'm dead. <laughs> but it's it's a game that's made in only ten lines. Yeah, that's yeah. why there's not much depth to it. But it's um, it's kind of a, a cool thing, cool game. What does space do? Uh, I think it restarts. Oh, oh, I can make it. That one. See the colors are changing. Yeah. You know, that's a problem. And why is that? Don't know yet. Um, I'm theorizing that it's a power issue for the system, but it may not be. But I have a power, a new power supply on order, hmm. so we'll, know, we'll find out soon. Come on. Dollars. Where's the dollars? There it is. Covered it with an O right before I got it. Yeah, oh. that happens. Um, uh, cute, simple little game. Yep. Uh, next one is the last one, I think. Yep. Verbix. Last one, Verbix. This is a crowd participation game. Oh. So this one. Um, oh, it's easy. I, mean, I can do it. Yeah. Even a Darcy could do it. Verbix is a Scrabble like game uh, that looks a bit like Tetris. In this game, you have to form a valid five letter English words on the bottom row before the tower of letters reaches the top level. You can rotate the bottom row or any of the columns by moving in the four directions. Oh, if you press, words. press fire to confirm the word, you can get extra points if you complete the level earlier by lowering the stack of letters below the second row. So, it doesn't matter the order. You can rearrange the letters completely by moving them up and down when you're across the bottom. Or if you go all the way to the left, you can move those two rows left and right. So, copies, C-O-P-Y-S. Uh, let me show you. It's actually a little weird the way you have to... No, I got it. I was just trying to spell a word. So if you go like this. Oh, I see. You can move them side to side too. That's and then you cool. go C-O-P and then you do the... Oh, no, you can't. Oops. You can only reorganize the bottom row? Yes. So C-O-P. So I need to get the Y down there. Then I can put the Y up there. And they get the C O P Y. Oh, I've lost the O. Where'd my O go? No! It's right above you. Yeah. Oh, I've got another P. Okay, so I've got all the letters now. I just need to rearrange them. C O P. Oh, got it. You bastard of a game. <laughs> it's a word. <laughs> no. Okay, we're doing space then. That's definitely a word. So we got an S P A. Move. Left, that way and get the C, and then we can move there, get the E. Yeah, there was an E on there. It knew space! Yay! <laughs> Copies. Yeah. 
Oh, that kind of copies. Uh, that's six letters. And yeah, I don't no have an copy. I. <laughs> James version of copies is legit. It's someone named Copy and ownership. <laughs> and I mean, they don't have. Oh, did I? Yeah, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's a guy named Copy. Oh, study. Oh, I can get the Y down now. Da da da. <clears throat> Okay, need some words. Anybody can see some words. Plier. Let's shout them out. Choir? Plier. Oh, plier. Oh. I, I don't, I'm probably spelling it wrong. Uh, P L Y E R. That's so what I was good. We are good. P L Y. Get that R. And the E. It's and, already there. Yeah. No, no. It's, oh, there is one. Back. There's one up there, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Level up. I don't want to level up. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, it clears it. Okay. Um. Is there a German version? <laughs> oh, sorry, the rest. Mm -hmm. Um, you can spell in English. I've seen you do it. I've seen you do it right now. Um, I don't think there is a German version at the moment. Matt. Matt. Tra trail. Oh, let's go T R A I. Oh, and there's an L right there. Yes. Um, H is there a timer -S. attached to this? Uh, well, it builds up. So there's uh. a timer. I don't know how fast. It's pretty slow because it takes a while to spell a word. House, I need an E. So. Have to wait for me. Oh, how about smash? There we go. H S M, and then there's an A. I'll do my house Could, first. Oh, I think smash is better. Smash house, is good. House is very mundane, but smash, smash, smash. Let him scare you too much. He's still oh, here. Do we have smash? S M A S. There's no H. I used it. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Do the colors have a meaning? Ooh, probably just to give variety. Mm. I, they might be different points. I think uh, there's a meaning. Um, oh, the, um, the white vowels. Ones are vowels. Except not, oh, Y. Not, except you. <laughs> okay, never mind. All right. Small. Small. <clears throat> Once you know how to like position the letters, it gets a lot faster. Because um, I was trying this out before the show, and I was like, "Oh, how do I? Oh, I have to move that up, and then move it over, and move it back, and uh, cycle, but not." C Y needs another C. Oh no, I need. No, oh, you have C Y C L E cycle. Oh, we do have an E there. Yep. Okay. I think did the E just show up? Uh, it might have. C Y C. No. Oh. Yeah, it did just show up because okay. the H and the U weren't there either. So I see only. Nice. Level up. Lions. Oh, sorry. Didn't see that in time. This is a great. Like I've never seen this concept before, with the with the letters. We there was another one that we played that's. that's Word word up was that it? Taper. Ta ta paper. Taper paper. No, the yeah. There you go. Pow! Oh, right away! Wow, that was good. Um, dread. Ooh. Nice. Ethics. F F ethics? <laughs> <laughs> ethic. I don't think ethic. Can you have one ethic? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got it. Just got it thick. Extra bonus. Good one for ethic. I think we're doing it too fast for the chat to even help. <laughs> Destroying letters. Oh, look at that. We're up to four rows immediately. Please. Don't have six. That's six letters. Um, 
Small? Yes. S. Um, oh, I need that. Well, let's just do, do it from here. S M A L. Oh, could have done it there. Small. Oh, now it's getting faster. Um, pleat. Yeah. This is a. All these games are really good. Um. Ooh, should I go for drops? Pants, but drops might whatever's quicker. Well, I didn't like the S word before. Yeah, but pants is a word and there's no pant. Well, oh, there is a pant. What you actually. did wasn't a word is the problem. You did <laughs> copy true. with an S. <laughs> That's true. And I was the dumb one. I was the dumb one. I didn't know how to spell pants. Oh, smell, but need another L. Um, smart, which I wasn't. SMRT. Okay. S. Oh, no. Nice. Apples or apple? Yeah, just one. Not enough room for multiple apples. Uh oh. No, you need to. Oh, never mind. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, it. it's yeah. it's a bit to wrap your head around the backwards. Yeah. And when you're not controlling it, it's moving. When it moves, you 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 <laughs> may not see which direction it's moving. Yeah. Yep. Plays. Which is my excuse for. <laughs> plate already. Oh no, <laughs> uh, Press. Yeah, if you can move, if you can do one where it's already kind of in the order. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's Quick. super fast. Um, pr pretty. Oh no, did what is happening? I'm like completely messing it up. Let's start this over. P R E T Oh no. <laughs> that's not enough letters, yeah, that's none what of spaces. I was thinking. I was like, oh, oh, no. I think, but I'm not great at spelling, so I was like, maybe so there's only no one Atari. Too pretty. Yeah. <gasps> Atari. We don't have a Oh, we do. We have everything, don't we? I bet. If it doesn't have Atari, we did play a game where it didn't know Atari. That was so sad. There's no two A's. No! Damn it. Uh, empty. E. Uh, I have to check that P up. Is there an N? I don't... Uh, no. no. Uh, oh, do we have two A's yet? No. <laughs> I want to do Atari. Uh, we have an I now. T H E R E there. Oh, T H E. Put the R down. Yeah. Two A's yet? Nope. Uh, cycle? It's funny that this is the second time that we've done cycle. Oh, well, it uses. Uh, oh, no, it doesn't use very common words. Do we have two A's yet? No! Why, is, uh, why are they dole, doling out the A's? They're afraid you'll do Atari. <laughs> Crime. Oh, I used us. both C's. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. uh, ro roses. There's no that second S. Um, 
trite. Oh, okay. T R I. Uh, nope. T E. Yep. A T. No A -T. second A <laughs> again. Oh, there is. Oh, we're almost there. A T. We're gonna do Atari. Uh, but we can't because it's only five and Atari is six. No, it's not. A T A R I. Oh, 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 I see. No! It is. It hates Atari. Why? Oh, we're almost dead. Uh, Why? So it doesn't like it, is no, what you're saying. Okay. It does not like Atari. Rope. Ropes. Ropes. Yeah. If I can find an S, there's one. Oh, I'm almost dead. We are almost dead. It's a collective. Yeah, it's all oh, off. Just oh, in time. Who made it? Hate. Hates. Shape. Uh. Uh. Ooh, does it know synth? N. Let's go this way. Oh, come on. It's it's a valid word. Slip? Is there a P? No, there isn't. Slime? Is there an M? No. No. Oh no. Slid? Uh, I was. Slice. Slice. Oh, oh. There you go. Uh, very good controls like this. Usually in these types of games, the controls are like crazy and don't work. Stone. Well. Yes. Uh, S T. Oh. oh, they're all in a row. Nice. And you also have to think about which cat. What? No, it always health. just takes. Is off. there? Yeah, health. Oh, nice. Oh, it's too many words. Uh, heats. No. Too many uh, letters. Yeah. It's short for a word. That's true. Uh, we're still in the game here. Names. Is there an I? Yes. Do slice. I think it's it's giving out the letters in a good amount like it's there always seems to be the right a decent amount of letters to spell words uh ships nice oh we're doing well uh if you get it down below the the line uh you get bonus uh, um lady 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 Little, little, almost. Almost. Oh, now we got two. We can still do it. Uh, moist. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most hated words in the English language. Is it? Yeah. People go, ew, moist. They oh no. It. Didn't make it. No. <laughs> well, if not. Getting a super bonus point is the worst thing that happens to you then. Uh... Sorry. It seems like this would be a, a large one if it had an array of every five letter word. How big is this game? Let's see. Here. You can do it now. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, it's a four... Don't worry, the pain is almost over. I, I don't have the controls for this. <laughs> it's a 14, 14K game. So, Thomas, did you. You helped with the compression of the words into 
that Atari 7800 game, didn't you? Do you remember how big the word dictionary was on that? Was it called Word Up? Or something like that? Wordle! Wordle. Yes, the Wordle dictionary. Because there's the, the game in total is 14k. Oh, you did it, and you're done. I was, uh, I was very bad. <laughs> I saw the word I wanted, but I was very slow at getting it. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, I'm almost done. Posts. So many letters. I'm assuming I can There's spell lots, just about yeah, everything. Lots of, uh, Smile. Yeah. It's not throwing out Z Zs. Like Sluts. you can see. <laughs> ah, will it know that? Uh, Let's see. Oh, this way. I almost hope it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Oh, it knows. <laughs> it's a word. Uh, Did you? I don't know. I just assume you did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you helped with that. He's like, did I help with that? With the wordle? The 7800? Paste. P-A-C-E-D. Oh, that kind of paste. It's no ease. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, they got, I guess they got used in the last word. I can wait for any. Uh, yeah, that's a bad idea. Uh, it is a bad idea. But we have to make words um, with no ease. Uh, carts. Let's see if it knows carts. It would know carts. If there's an S. I haven't looked. Uh, yes, there's an S. No. Toast. Uh, do we have toast tea? Oh. Okay. S. And. Oh. There's two T's over there. Nice. Thank you, Thrust. some crimes. Yeah. crimes crimes well one crime anyway but we didn't have an s that was the problem with the other one we have one oh. now oh crime crime yes. yeah level up Whoa. just in time ape up yep relic rel do we have an l yep do we have an i and a c we do uh, the l didn't come down yeah Relic. Um, Toads. Smile. Smile. That's better. Toads.
toads. Um, oh, toast. Wait, toast. we did toast we a did, while ago. We did yeah, toast, yeah. yeah. Um, that's we and that was what you suggested before. Yeah. Poo, poop, poo, 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 poo. Treat. T. Is there an R? R. Oh, yeah. E. A. T. Yeah. T. R. E. No. Oh. Go back this way. That's that's how you do it. <laughs> that's a back. That's you do it. Too many moves. Um. Dream. Do you do it? Say dream or stream. Dream. Dream. I think stream must be too long. I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Sad that I only think that and don't know that. <laughs> I think it is. It is. Music. If dream works, stream is too long. Uh, there's the C. This is a much more high action uh, puzzle yeah, game than I thought it would it's be. It's actually a lot more about moving the mouse or moving the joystick than it is making the words. Hater. Which surprises me. Um, no, that's perfectly valid. Oh, me? Well, hater. We'll find out. That is a slang, isn't it? We will find out if we had an E. Which we don't. But you could always check in. Uh, hatter. Hatter. Uh, <gasps> oh, every time yeah. you press the button. Well, we can get an E and then oh. finish the game. Oh, come on. No! No! Oh, no. We may not find out. Hater. Oh, game over. <laughs> Why was it game over? It gave us an A on the top row, but only Went. one A in the top row? As soon as it hits the top row, like oh, in Tetris. gotcha. One at the top. You get yeah. to see it, but then that's it. We'll try Guess for, for the best. We'll try for Hater again. H. And then we'll finish. We need a T. There's there we a go. T. It's even in the right, correct row. Excellent. Now we have an R. Yes, we do. Hater. It's a word. Not so slangy. There we go. Uh, a really great group of games. Mm -hmm. I was pleasantly surprised. I, I knew some of them were going to be good, but I didn't like play through them enough um, to know that, oh, all of them are going to be super awesome. Oh, Thrust says it's not using all the letters. No, um, which is good because otherwise the the field hard. gets full of Q's and Q's and Z's, J's yeah. and I think, Z's. Yeah, I think if we go back to the title screen, it'll show you all the letters. Actually, I think oh, it's got them on the side there. Right here, I think those are the same as on the title screen. Yep, there. Would they use? But this game, oh, I was. It's Verbix. Yacht. It's called Verbix, and it uses <laughs> the name of the game has two letters that are not used in it. Irony. <laughs> B Z I. Uh, B yeah. O. Oh, and Q X. B. Q. Yeah. X. Yeah. All the ones that are difficult. I think B could have been thrown in. But they probably looked at no pixel. Oh no. They probably just looked at the Scrabble board and went any letter <laughs> that is worth above a certain. It's like, nope, that's too hard. <laughs> really great. Um, what they could do is chuck in a, a tile that's not wild, but it is Z, X, B, blah, blah, uh, blah, whatever. whatever. Yeah, and, yeah and just make it hard. And you still have to use those letters, and they're still less usable. But Use quick, yeah. yeah. And five letter Z word, that's, that, gets, that gets challenging, yeah. And then you could call the game whatever those letters spell. I wonder if this is pretty maxed as far as capabilities. Um, or if it'll look a lot different with a further dev. I, I would say those would be about... I mean, you could, you could probably go really far and make like an RPG. Maybe a tile-based RPG to some extent. Because it's a use... little yeah, it's it's a little weird that it's a joystick game when it's for a system that uses a keyboard. 
Well, the the challenge is a range. Yeah, the you're letters. right. It is. That's the that's. It's not a. It's not a word game. Not a word. It is a word game, word but the search. word is just the theme, not really the limitation on it. Yeah. So I think some um, some devs with some. It could do boulder dash. Oh, it could. Yeah, pushing pushing things around. Hundred mm -hmm. percent, because they could push. Things can hundred percent drop, because there's no half tiles in boulder dash. I mean, when things are dropping, you can draw half tiles, but that's not where they end up. Mm -hmm. And I've seen other tile-based implementations of a Boulder Dash-like game. So you could do a lot more with this than they're showing off. There's just two examples, like an RPG and a Boulder Dash. Tetris. Oh, I actually 100% thought... 100% Tetris. When you do. mentioned you said something about Tetris, and I thought, oh, this is going to be hard. I thought you had to, like... When you first started doing it, I was oh, looking like, at the bottom letters and I was like, no, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could do a word search game and go highlight the letters and it would find things. Like one of those bomb or gem games where you get a kid. Yes. And, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. drop and you could be like, oh, what's going to be next? Yeah. Um, great group of games. Uh, I'm not going to go over them again because I can't associate the names of them very well with because we went through nine of them but uh i would say about 80 percent of them are really good games and there were some that are a bit derivative of the other ones the where they're like oh that's there was two that were like kind of close the one where you're shooting up arrows and you're fending off yeah and there then were the tank one yeah, there yeah, were yeah. two that were close and the other ones where you lead them yep into and then had the skulls and what have you yeah you shot in both of them those but both were good on their own right yep. like just different implementations of them um so next episode is going to be the halloween episode so we're going to be playing some halloweenish games some scary games scary games scary games that's right for uh, so like um different uh, quake three uh, yeah no, we, or was we, it quick? One of those. No, New was, Doom. What, Doom three. Doom, Doom three was. There's some scary dooms. I yeah. was scary when I played. We that. did play Doom just uh, last episode, or the one before that. Yeah, one before that with Erlen, like an, on the Jaguar, an updated Doom. It's very very good. Um, so we're gonna be playing the exclusive work in progress update of Tober's Nightmare. Uh, we have the exclusive world premiere of a game called Geist on the 2600 as well. Playing Hobgoblin on the 8-bit. I don't even have to change these uh, systems out for it. Uh, Fright Zone, a hack of uh, the excellent Strike Zone bowling game for the 2600. Uh, so we'll be doing that at 7 p.m. next Tuesday to give Tanya and I an hour more to get into our costumes. Um, thank you, Dan. It was a very good show. All the games are so good. And uh, then sometime, maybe November if we have time, but probably December, we're going to have a four-player special day of Darcy here. We'll arrange it where Darcy can be here, and Erlen, and myself, and Tanya. And we're going to play specifically all four-player games mm. on various systems. And I've built up a list of those games because I've Same got um, 5200. We've got a four-port. We've got a four connector, four joystick connector for the uh, 50 or the Atari 8 bit now. We've got the quad Tari for the 2600. So lots of possibilities for four player games. Uh, we've got the Atari Age Day coming up in late ish November or uh, mid to late November where we're going to have on all the devs from all the releases, 21 Atari Age releases. We're going to do wow. it all in one day. Wow. Probably going to keep it to 20 minutes per developer because we don't need to play the games. We 20 play. minutes per developer. Yep. So that's for every three developers, one hour. And yep. you have 21, so that's seven hours. Yep. And that assumes that nothing goes wrong. <laughs> yep. You have Very a dee -dee 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 -dee, and we go click, hang up. It's going to be a... We've done it before. Oh, do you have time to say, you? <laughs> oh, we're time, sucker! <laughs> we'll, we'll have a, we'll get an old school telephone, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll hang up on them. We'll I have go, one. Do you? No, I don't. I don't think I have an old school telephone anywhere, so we can like go physically hang up. I want to get a, I want to get a couple, 
and I want one of them to be red, and then that'll be like the, the Ooh, hotline. Yes. You can get adapters that allow the old school telephone to go to Bluetooth, I believe, oh, to yeah, hook yeah. into your cell phone. Yeah. And you can also do like a network at home. Yes, an internal network. An internal network. network. And that's what I was going to do was Over have an RJ internal 11. network. Yep. Yeah. And have like, have you just your own uh, switchboard. Like you can get the little switchboard boxes. They look yep. like a... PBXs. PBX, yep. yeah, yeah. And then... Uh, Upstairs, downstairs, garage, have yep. them all. You go, ring. Ring. <laughs> yeah. That would actually be very useful. Uh, yeah. When Tamara comes into the garage, uh, she, or if she comes into a room and I've got headphones on, she just has to like flick the lights to get my attention because <laughs> I'm just like oblivious. That's good. Look, mom, no computer went crazy with the phone system. And I'm like, what the hell's with the lights? What's going on? Oh, oh, okay. oh, it's okay. you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> I hope to get to be one some year. Keep going. Make a game. Get some ideas. Start programming. Um, there's lots of uh, great platforms for making games. Here's one right that we played today um, that you can make games with if you have a tile-based game. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how easy it is, but he's able to make all these games. I don't know if anybody else has used this um, system to make a game. I'll have to look it up. Um, we also have the Atari Jaguars 30th Anniversary Classic Gaming Countdown over three days. We're going to be playing every single classic Atari Jaguar game. Yes, we're doing it again. <laughs> we did it for the 2600 games. We're doing it for Jaguar. Um, we're also going to be doing the Elevator Agent and Turbo Arcade store release for Champ Games. And we'll be talking with John Champo late November, early December. See how that works out. Um, and also, oh, I still have to correct that. That is early uh, November, the ABBUC 2023 contest entry. So that's like really soon. Possibly the show after Halloween, we might do the first one, depending how fast they can get out the, the games, because they're allowed to release them to the public after the contest is over. Right now they're being judged, um, I think up till like the 31st of October, and then they can put it out. Your comments were very nice and encouraging. I've started tons of them. I was around from the beginning of Batar Base. I've never finished anything. A few of my demos have been featured by you. Awesome. So we have played some of them. Keep going. Um, and then uh, next, early next year in February, the sixth annual Atari Homebrew Awards. Always a fun time. What we'll Darcy there? I feel Aaron. myself objecting to the idea that 2024 is <laughs> is a real thing. It's so close. We're and in the 2023 future. 2023 is still new. Like it's still 20. Anyways. Whatever. Yeah. Well, you can have to get used to it. That's how it was. That's how it is when you write. You used to have to write things on checks and on assignments, I don't know, work type, yeah. type of type, uh, the date and you wouldn't get used to it till around now. <laughs> and then you're like, God damn it. Another year. I have to get used to that again. Scribbling out the three and putting the four. Yeah. Um, it's coming. Well, I do that when I print something on my, on my 3d printer, <laughs> uh, I put the date and what it is and how much, oh. how much weight it used. And so I've been writing the date a lot. Yeah. So I'll be reaching out to the nomination committees very, very soon, making sure they're all cool to be on board this year for narrowing down the wheat from the chaff. <laughs> no, they're all good. Um, so that we can narrow it down to six to vote on. That'll be fun. Going through all the uh, possible issues last minute, uh, see what happened last year. Make sure it's smoothed out more and more each year. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to have a goal. It is. <laughs> good to have goals. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Uh, I love doing these special shows where we have like a theme. Yeah, yeah. Because you can kind of compare things to each other and go, okay, how does that work in relation to other things? Did you like it, Atari? Yes, you got treats. You liked it a lot. <laughs> Not double treats today, but that's okay. You got one treat. Uh, Capo Arena, RC7E, thanks for tuning in. Danny C, Thrust, Urban Monkey, Channel Gorf, new name, 
Rhino Jota, another new name. Thank you for chatting. Gamma Dev, Jedekaya. Um, who else? Oh, Atari and Dave. Hey, Dave from Atari. Thanks for tuning in. Don't know if you're still here, but hey. He's got his own channel, too, if you want to watch his channel. Uh, Dios Kilos, Al the Fur, Metal Lunar, uh, Prow7, and everybody else who was lurking. You're going to be able to try and subscribe? I want to see if the... See if it's working yet. I still didn't get the text message from Twitch. Oh, uh, that's not a good... Uh, Twitch. <laughs> yeah, probably won't work. I think it may have expired. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Uh, did you hear you say an updated version of Doom? Yeah, go back two, uh, two episodes uh, on YouTube and check out our YouTube archive. And it's a updated version of Atari Jaguar Doom to bring it closer to the PC version of Doom. Mm. They did tons of updates. The monsters can go through the teleporters. They've fixed the bottom display to look like the PC Doom. All the textures are updated, or most of the textures it are updated. It seems like it to would be, be able to do PC Doom, because we played the Aliens game, and that was very. Yeah, but um, they had no music uh. in the Jaguar Doom, and um, when they put it in initially, it slowed down the game. But they're optimizing it, so I think they had to cut some corners, probably due to time constraints. Because gotcha. like when you work for like a big company there's deadlines like christmas deadlines and it's like oh well we can't put this in the game oh well ship it anyway yeah um just go to youtube type in zero page homebrew and uh, it'll be right there like the second video so you'll be able to find it i'll do the work for you won't take me take me much shorter amount of time zero it's already there page homebrew oh thank you on the fur <laughs> He got it for you. There. YouTube started to TP su to suck to lately. Suck lately. Mm -hmm. It has been sucking a long time ago, and we had I had to subscribe. I had to pay YouTube monthly amount to make it not suck anymore. To get rid of the ads. Oh my god, so much better. Because the ad blocker wasn't working for you. I just did. We we use it on Chromecast, huh. and I would have to put in a pie hole mm -hmm. or something, some equivalent, and I was like, ah, just just pay it. I'm fine. I I use their services. Yeah, for, yeah, it's for free it's not for so like bad. Yeah, yeah. forever. Yeah, since two thousand seven, eight. Yeah, yeah. So uh they they deserve a bit of money, or do they? <laughs> um, they're now trying to add block ad blockers. Yeah, they're getting they're getting tricky. They want their monies. I mean, YouTube has been um losing money. They've lost money every year for almost 20 years now so i can understand why they're trying to make money um but anyway uh that's another topic um if they succeed i'm gone i will not watch those ads or give them any money <laughs> yeah if if they block all the ad blockers will everybody flock to another service will there another service pop up probably not because they would lose scads of cash yeah. too yeah Nobody has... The worst case scenario would be that some other thing comes up which really tanks YouTube and then we end up with nothing. Because YouTube <laughs> yeah. is pretty awesome. Even though, yeah. like, I don't disagree that it that it's... Sucks with ads. It, there are things that suck about it. Yeah. But it's... Uh, Invidious. Is that a... Um, another company that does videos? Well, it sounds like Invid videos yeah oh, there's lots of there's lots of video companies that plays YouTube there. videos I've heard of that okay so they're just replaying the videos through them and scrubbing the ads for you mm. yeah that doesn't sound like it would last very a long time before they somehow get shut down unless they're in some country that is untouchable uh, yeah, their latest aggressive anti-ad block is going to piss a lot of people off. Yeah, well, there's only two options for that. They just leave and don't... Oh, they pay? They leave and don't find an alternative. Or another alternative pops up. But another alternative popping up is not going to happen because they know how much no money YouTube made for 20 years. Mm -hmm. So I don't I don't see it, it happening. So people are just going to stop watching videos on that platform 
and just go, well, we're watching, you know, Netflix for now, or even um, you're you're Twitch. convincing me to pay YouTube. Uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, or Twitch, and they just watch live streams or archived live streams. But there's ads on Twitch too. I mean, that's if if you're not subscribing, you're watching ads. Those are pretty much the two options nowadays for everything. Yeah. So you pick your poison. Um, yeah. Okay, so we will be I back. I watch way more YouTube than anything else. Me too. And that's like, why like I felt infinitely okay. more. So like I, yeah, you've convinced me to like maybe I can ditch something else that I hardly watch. Yeah. So thrust has found a way around. Clear your cookies helped me. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I'm okay with watching small content producers. I just had the ad block off for a while. And then when I put it back on, yeah, it worked again. Oh. <laughs> But it was off for quite a while, so mm. that may have had the effect of clearing my cookies. <laughs> That's true. Maybe they're like, okay. Organically clearing my cookies. <laughs> it's like, oh, we know you're a new person to YouTube, so we're not going to push a ton of ads at first. And then it slowly ramps up after you... No, I mean the ad blocker worked after yeah. a while. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. And it wasn't working at all for a short period of time. But, uh, uh, interesting. What does it cost? The ad block... Well, we also get with... No, that's Google. Um, I don't know. It's not as much not as other streaming a, services. I'm not trying to push a YouTube ad here. Yeah, no. Uh, so we'll be back on Tuesday uh, for the Halloween special. Make sure you tune in. And uh, have a great weekend, everyone. And we'll see you soon. Darcy's going to be up for a very long time soon. Right now. I will. It started and, this morning, uh, really. You're going to be up from? From 7.30 this morning when I got up. Yeah. Till probably late nine, tomorrow night. Probably nine. around 9, maybe later. It's it's yeah. weird, but you finish the 24-hour game night, and then you don't immediately fall asleep. So, like, asleep 36 hours. Yeah. About. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going to talk about. It's too late now. Um how what's the longest time people have stayed up for voluntarily well at a certain point it actually starts to like you start to hallucinate and yeah. i think what happens is you you don't people don't usually die from it because you fall like, asleep you fall asleep yeah <laughs> people have because like, once you start done. hallucinating like how do you stay awake when you've lost control of your you can't your brain like you just fall asleep you yeah. know like there's only so much you can do um, once I did Friday morning till Sunday night when I was a kid, because I got a bad grade on my report card and I didn't want to go home. So I was sleeping over at somebody's house for the weekend. <laughs> and that was in grade four. And then driving home from Saskatchewan, um, which was less time, but I was driving. And that was like 24 hours plus some time as well. And I was hallucinating at the end. It was not good. I was seeing like little rabbits in the corner on the side of the road. It was not good. <laughs> yeah, that is alarming. Yeah. And that was after how long? It was from a morning. Uh -huh. And it takes about... 20 hours 24 hours to drive from where we were in saskatchewan um and so and we stopped for like food number of times so add like eight to that so eight to 24 so that's like it would be about 36 total i would say yeah, and you were driving during it? Yeah, yeah that's that's not legal. It, <laughs> it was... I will never, ever do that again. Yeah, it was yeah. really it was terrible. Brutal. Yeah. Um, it was if you want to drive for 36 hours, you need to have someone <laughs> punch you in the face. Yeah, I had a passenger, and she was helping me get through it, but it, was, it doesn't help. Like, you can't... Well, it, the best way is to, like, cycle. Because I remember driving from... Oh yeah, uh, Vancouver to Calgary overnight to make it for a paintball tournament that was on Saturday morning. So we left Friday night after work. Oh. And we drove all night to get there. And then did the tournament? 
and then did the tournament. Yeah. Oof. So you were hallucinating during but the tournament. But we, we took turns. So like, oh, in okay. theory, you one could. of us drove. But like I was unable to drive because I was lying in the back of the van. And he was driving crazier than I was. But also, I was lying right on top of the differential and the drive uh, oh. shaft. So like it sounded worse than it was. right? <laughs> and it's like through the mountains and yeah, all like, this turning. And you're like rolling. And like, oh, my God, we're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you can't see what's happening, you're just feeling it. You're like, "Oh, what is happening? Is he on the road?" <laughs> RC70 uh, worked for 48 hours. When I went outside, the parking lot lines appeared above the ground. Oh <laughs> boy! Yeah, that's brutal. <laughs> I used to travel overnight a lot with a cozy train. Yeah, oh, yeah. Your European train travel is awesome. Yeah. Um, so we're done. Uh, I wish I'd talked about that earlier but yeah whatever people can talk about it in um in youtube if you're still watching <laughs> talk about how the longest time you've stayed up for yeah i know nobody will make comments because <laughs> they tune out after i after yeah yeah the very the last, last thing the very last thing you say and it comes after you say r starting to wrap it up when people start oh, stopping watching <laughs> you watch the watch time and yeah. the graph drops yeah. like nobody watches oh the there's an indication that the video that you have that you are aware that the video is coming to an end <laughs> god. god i'm out of here I can't if think. you've lost faith in, the, faith in this video we're not certainly not watching it because <laughs> i've i've seen that other uh youtubers do that they say type i don't know uh squirrel in the in in the youtube com comments if you're still watching this <laughs> yeah. it's like only the hardcores yeah you know, yeah 13 viewers constantly oh well people what yeah. you should do is people watch to the end balls to the wall right to the end and go and the video's over ha ha suckers <laughs> that's right <laughs> <laughs> um on on twitch it's a little different because there's interaction and stuff yeah, yeah. so people stay to the it's end it's like a live stream yeah. on i would imagine a live stream on youtube would have some it'd similar be, it'd be exactly the same but if it's a recorded thing there's no interaction they're just like what well, what do i get out of the last five minutes where he's going blah 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 blah, 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 blah. but this is the real ad darcy has to go and we'll see you on tuesday have a great weekend everyone Bye bye